The following is an exclusive sports presentation of KRDR, The Pulse 105.7 FM, a member of the Blue Sky Media Radio Network. Good evening, Ranger Nation, and welcome live inside Percival Fieldhouse on the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University for tonight's ladies' uh, non-conference matchup in basketball as the Emporia State Lady Hornets out of Emporia, Kansas, invade Alba, Oklahoma. The Northwestern Lady Rangers are hosting the Emporia State Lady Hornets here this evening. Again, a non-conference matchup. Emporia State out of the MIAA sitting at 2-0 and on the season. Northwestern, a great American conference team at 1-1 and so far this year. Hello, everyone. I'm Dustin Goodno. Joining me for the broadcast, broadcast again will be Jacob Bogus, our in-studio producer and engineer this evening will be Montana McCullough. We're going to take an opening timeout. We'll come back and we'll begin the exotic heat wave pregame show, which is right after this break. This is Lady Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. Alva State Bank wants to help you meet your personal and business financial needs. We are committed to our communities and are motivated to build strong and lasting relationships with our customers. Stop by any of our convenient locations in Alva, Enid, Burlington, Freedom, or Kiowa to speak to our friendly staff about how we can help you today to prepare for your tomorrow. Alva State Bank, family owned and operated, member FDIC. 
With all the sights to see in or around Alva, you don't want to miss a thing. Let Alva Vision Clinic, a member of Vision Source, bring life into focus for you. At Alva Vision Clinic, your family's vision health is our business, and they always keep it personal from your initial exam through the selection of that perfect pair of glasses or contacts. They have been a part of the Alva community since 1931. So make your next appointment with the staff that cares. Visit Alva Vision Clinic at 504 College Avenue in downtown Alva today. And welcome back to Lady Ranger Basketball here on the Pulse 105.7. Again, inside Percival Fieldhouse, Dustin Goodno alongside my partner this evening again, Jacob Bogus. Jacob, welcome to the broadcast. I'm glad to be here, Dustin. But well, it's a big one here tonight uh, as Northwestern taking on a uh, very formidable opponent, the MI, an MIAA opponent, a team that uh, Northwestern will share the central region with. Uh, here's the thing, Emporia State comes into this one at 2-0 on the season. Uh, again, they've already got one good win when you look at it against Southwestern Oklahoma State. Not only that, they just destroyed Oklahoma Baptist on the road, so a very tough opponent here tonight inside Percival Fieldhouse. Yeah, you know, Emporia State did beat a extremely well-coached Southwestern team, really had a good game against them. They did also receive 11 votes in the poll, so you know they're not going to be no slacks. No, they're not. Again, yeah, they defeated Southwestern 68-60. to uh, That was a game X was played in the MIAA Great American Conference Challenge. And then they turn around and beat Oklahoma Baptist 88-61. to On the season, again, Northwestern Lady Rangers, they are 1-1 one one so far this year. They're coming off their first victory also in the MIAA Great American Conference Crossover Challenge. They took down Northeastern State, trailed by five at halftime, come back and outscored uh, Northeastern State by by two in the third quarter and then outscored them by eight in the fourth as Lady Rangers picked up a very good win against a MIAA opponent. 76-71. to They were led in scoring by Kalia King who had 20. Ja'Kerry Ote with 16. Jay Jones also had 16. And uh, Presley Payasapi also finished with four points in that one. I got to tell you though, Jacob, it's been pretty good seeing how well Kalia King, it's like she's just pretty, pretty much picked up right where she left off. This whole year off thing hasn't seemed to make her skip a beat. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of get those girls that just have that talent. They kind of have a knack for the game. I mean, she could have probably taken two years off, and you're really not going to see that much rust with Kalia King. No, I, th- I think you're absolutely right. And again, she's been, it's been a big time addition getting her back. And again, just a junior. Uh, as again, she scored 20 in that game, was 7 of 19 from the field, 37% from the field. Shakiri Ote, again, finished with 16, was 5 of 11 from the field. Jay Jones was 16, 3 of 7 from the field. A lot of those points, again, coming at the foul line, typically, which does have happened with uh, Jay Jones. So again, the Lady Rangers took down Northeastern State, got their first victory 76-71. Before that, I had the opportunity to do the game against UCO and Lady Rangers come out like a house of fire, led uh, 14 to nothing, 22 to 6, but eventually fell to UCO. That one's probably one that you're going to want back if you're Coach Diesel Horse. Yeah, it's typically not the game that we would have had last year where we kind of come out slow in the first quarter and then kind of build ourselves up to where we need to be playing. They came out super hot in that first quarter and then gradually kind of lost it, maybe got a little tired there at the at the end. Well, yeah, and UCO hit some big shots in that game as well in the second half to uh, cruise to a victory. We're going to take another timeout. We'll come back, and uh, Coach Dieselhorse is going to join us on the pregame show after this break. You're listening to Lady Ranger Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. At Bank Central, our roots run deep with a heritage that began over 100 years ago in Alva, Oklahoma. Today, our legacy continues to grow, not only in Alva, but in the other communities we serve. Woodward and Enid, Oklahoma, plus Harper and Anthony, Kansas. With our outstanding personnel, the latest in banking technology, and a wide variety of services, Bank Central has the banking expertise to help you with all your financial needs. We're Bank Central, and we're centered on you. Member FDIC. Hi, this is Adam Jordan with Beatles Nursing Home. At Beatles, we understand that making decisions about your future or the future of your loved ones can sometimes be difficult, but we are here to make the process as pleasant as possible. Life does not slow down when you come home to Beatles. For many residents, it's an all-new beginning full of activities and fun. We strive to provide compassionate and comprehensive health care in a Christian environment. For more information or to schedule a visit, give us a call at 580 
727-327-1274 or stop by 916 Noble Street in Alp. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding areas since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are our friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being our hometown bank. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. November is a great time to add a little nitrogen to your wheat crop as well as control some of the weeds and grasses in your fields, such as joint grass and sheep. Here at the Alva Farmers Co-op, they work to provide winter services to you in a timely manner. Please give Matt a call at 580-216-1413, Rick at 580-327-7383, or Merle at 580-430-6005, or come by their main office in Alva on the corner of 4th and Barnes so they can help you profit more your next harvest. The Alva Farmers Co-op would like to wish everyone a blessed holiday holiday season. And welcome back to the Exotic Heat Wave pregame show. Dustin Goodno here alongside Jacob Bogus. And ba- uh, Jacob Bogus has actually had a chance to uh, catch Coach da- Tasha Dieselhorse. We're going to go over her with a quick pregame interview right here on the Pulse 105.7. Dustin, I'm over here with co- head coach Tasha Dieselhorse. Tasha, you start off the season with your third MIAA opponent in as many games. How does this prepare you for the GAC competition? You know, the MIAA conference is a great conference, just like our great American. So anytime you play teams from that conference, conference you're going to get a quality team and Pori is at the top of that conference they're one of the best so a great opportunity for us tonight all right give me your thoughts on Emporia this evening like I said they're they're a seasoned team they're a senior-led team that's had a lot of experience uh they've got a great post inside presence and then guards that can really fill it up outside so we'll have our work cut out for us uh we're gonna have to really defend the paint uh focus on not turning the ball over against their pressure. All right. Thanks, Coach Diesel Horse. That's going to send this one back to you. All right. Appreciate you, Jacob, for having a chance to catch Coach Tashel Diesel Horse as, again, her Northwestern Lady Rangers were taking on the Emporia State Lady Hornets. Again, folks, just about uh, over 16 minutes to go till we tip this one off again, and tip-off is scheduled for 7 o'clock. Let's take another time out. We'll come back. We'll have some more news and notes of your exotic heat wave pregame show after this break. This is Lady Ranger Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. When you don't feel well, you want a doctor you know and trust. Dr. Linda McMurphy and Dr. Tim Newton at Great Salt Plains Health Center are pleased to meet the primary care needs for the communities where they were raised. Call 580-596-2800 as early as 7 a.m. Monday through Friday or late until 7 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday. Medicaid, Medicare, private insurance, or no insurance at all. Call 596-2800 to schedule an appointment with Dr. Linda McMurphy or Dr. Tim Newton and find out why so many others choose Great Salt Plains Health Center, Cherokee, Medford, Enid, and Canton. Stop by Holder Drug and Alpha as they have some exciting deals going on. Their swig cups are half price, marked down from $19.95. They have Goldbug, Ranger, Sooner, and Cowboy colors for each swig cup. Flu season is nearly upon us, so you can grab your flu shot anytime at Holder Drug. Be sure to bring your health insurance card. If you are without insurance, flu shots are $35. Fall decor is also in and moving quickly. And Holder Drug Fountain still has the best ice cream in town. So grab a delicious Jack and Jill Sunday. That's Holder Drug on the downtown square in Alva. Here's to the ones who want the best for their family. Something genuine. Something meaningful. Those who want to go on vacation. The ones who hope to retire one day. Those who want true financial freedom. At ENJ Financial, they can help you achieve that. They focus on building long-lasting relationships that will educate and inspire their clients to true wealth. Let ENJ Financial show you the difference because at ENJ Financial, they're invested in your future. Visit them at one of their three locations in Woodward, Stillwater, and right here in Alva. Looking to keep that beautiful summer tan through the fall and winter? Then you need to plan your visits to Exotic Heat Wave and take advantage of our 24-hour tanning. No matter your schedule, Exotic Heat Wave can give you access to Alva's best tanning facilities. In fact, all NWOSU students who present their student ID receive discounts on monthly tanning packages. Custom color spray tans are also available by appointment. Call Exotic Heat Wave today at 580-327-4328 or stop by the salon at 1016 Noble in Alva. Keep that summer glow all season long with Exotic Heat Wave. 
can slow it down for you. And, and welcome back to Lady Ranger Basketball. Dustin Gooden alongside Jacob Bogus, uh, Montana McCullough, our in-studio producer and engineer here this evening for Lady Ranger Basketball as they take on the Emporia State uh, Lady Hornets. Jacob, uh, real quick before we get into the rest of our pregame show about this, when I have a few thoughts of uh, something that came out yesterday, the Great American Conference uh, released their uh, all GAC football teams and yearly awards. And typically I try not to get too caught up into this, but I have to just mention this on a, a couple of occasions. Um, go to Driscoll, folks. I, I know most Ranger people out there are going to know him. Finished the season second in the entire Great American Conference in tackles. Okay, So you have that. Not only do you have that, he also finishes in the top five, in fact, number four in tackles for a loss with 12 and a half. But somehow the Great American Conference football coaches don't believe that he should have been on the first or second team. I understand if you don't want to put him on the first team, that's fine, but he's a lot better than an honorable mention. The, the GAC coaches completely botched the all uh, the first and second teams. I, I just It blows my mind. Also, Jimmy Pace, another guy, is not an honorable mention player. He should have been second team, no question, for this season that he had. And what people are not watching apparently is not, not enough on film because if it's not showing up in the stat sheet, it's going to show up on film if you're watching it. The, you know, most offenses design their plays to go away from Jimmy Pace because of how good he is. And another thing, uh, a wide receiver from East Central University making it on the first team is a joke to me. Uh, no offense, but Trinity Vincent does not belong on the first team. Great American Conference. I, well, I watched East Central. East Central was pathetic offensively, a team that barely averaged 200 yards a game. So I, I've just had some issues with this uh, all gang team. But again, the coach is the ones who voted on this. I'm not sure what the coaches were looking at, Jacob. Yeah, I know. I mean, you really, coaches, players, I mean, really they say that they're not worried about uh, accolades and awards and all that stuff, but it is nice to be recognized for the work that you put in during the season. I mean, Jimmy Pace at times was nearly unlockable during games. Dakota Driscoll is, I mean, it's in, it's line to line. He's, he's, he's going to get a tackle almost every single play. And I totally understand the fact that the Rangers went 4-7. and seven. We weren't great defensively at certain times this year, but I'm going to tell you that both of those two guys deserve to at least be on the second team. Here's my other problem. Barrett Renner is not very good. We had a chance to see him against Northwestern. He was absolutely horrible. The Ranger defense made him look very pedestrian that day uh, in Magnolia. Cole Sears gets number two uh, all-gang second team quarterback. The guy who should have got first team in the Great American Conference and the best quarterback in the Great American Conference is Preston Hare from Oklahoma Baptist. But again, his team goes five and six, so apparently it's not good enough as far as record-wise. But see, Barrett Renner in Southern Arkansas goes seven and three. Cole Sears goes six and five. But again, the best quarterback in the conference is the one who's an honorable mention. Yeah, and not to mention, I mean, you do have some Northwestern players that weren't given the awards they deserve, but how many other players from other teams were given were not given the awards yet they deserve because of their team's record? No, absolutely. Again, Horatio Smith was a return specialist for Northwestern, but here's another one. Horatio Smith probably should have been on the first or second team as a wide receiver, not honorable mention. So, that's just my beef with it. I understand that, but I have to get my thoughts out on the uh, I had to get my uh, ran out real quick on that one. I agree with you, Dustin. So, And that's why we took a little extra time more on the exotic heat wave pregame show. Uh, but Jacob, let's turn our attention obviously now. Rant over. Uh, Northwestern again taking on the Emporia State Lady Hornets here this evening. A series that is actually led by the Rangers. They lead this one 4-3 to three, and they've... Uh, Empor but Empor Emporia State have won the last three meetings. The two teams have actually not met since the 2004 uh, 2005 season. In fact, that was a game where Emporia State won that one uh, going away. I believe it was uh, trying to find the actual final in that one. I know it was around 35 40 points. I mean, it was a pretty good uh, 73 45, actually, was the last time the Lady Hornets, uh, the lead reached as much as 32 and a 14 0 early run in the second half is what helped uh, Emporia State. But again, these two teams have not met in Alva since 1986. Yeah, and the Lady Rangers here are 2 0 in this series, so you got to hope that they get to continue that tonight. Yeah, and again, Emporia State comes in with their best one of the season against Southwestern Oklahoma State, uh, defeating them. Southwestern was ranked 20th, actually. And in fact, now Emporia State is now a team receiving votes in the latest uh, WBCA NCAA Division II Top 25. Emporia State with 11 uh, receiving votes. Not only that, you have another MIAA team with uh, Fort Hayes State 
who's in there as well. And again, that was in the preseason. So I would expect probably in the next set of rankings that come out, if Emporia wins here tonight and they get 4-0, um, if they were, if they win tonight, move to 3-0, and then if they play another game before the rankings get released, they're probably going to be ranked. Yeah, and I mean, you always, even with any preseason ranking, you kind of have to take them with a grain of salt because most of the time they are based off of last year's results. And really, it doesn't factor into the new players that you get. So with these rankings, I mean, Emporia State is obviously a very talented team. They beat an extremely talented Southwestern team. And, I mean, they are in a loaded conference with uh, Fort Hay State and Central Missouri, who is ranked number one preseason in the rankings this year. Yes, they are. Again, yeah, Central Missouri went 30-3 and three a year ago. In fact, the 2018 Central Region rankings to finish the year, there was five MIAA teams. So that tells you how strong this conference is, especially on the women's side. Yeah, and I mean, you can almost say that the GAC is a strong women's basketball conference, but this is kind of what you want to model your conference as. But I mean, this conference is loaded with women's basketball teams. Yes, it is. And again, uh, one one thing to keep in mind about Emporia State, a very successful team is Emporia State as far as uh, when you look at their NCAA history. They've actually made the tournament 19 times the last 22 years. Very impressive there. Their 40-18 and 18 record in the tournament is ranked fourth all-time among active Division II schools for the total tourney wins. Emporia State won the 2010 National Championship. They were runners-up in 1998, Final Four in 99 and 15, and also made the Elite Eight in 2000 and in 2006, and they've been to a regional final 14 times. So this is just not your average Joe team coming in here tonight. This is a very perennial powerhouse basketball program. Yeah, the, con- the su- continued success in the tradition that this team has, yes, they do replace their coach from last year, but you don't really you really don't see a drop-off with teams like this. Yeah, and again, their head coach is Toby Wynn. It's his first year. In fact, uh, he was at the Jay- Jay- Jayhawk Conference champion at Seward County Community College. He's the seventh head coach in the Lady Hornets basketball program. That's impressive in itself. Don't they have seven head coaches? That tells you the sustained success that all these other coaches have had. Yeah, going 349 and 84 in 13 years as a head coach at Seward College. I mean, four four Jayhawk Conference regular season championships and two region uh, five titles. I mean, that's impressive. Oh, it is. And again, he takes over in his first year uh, at Emporia State. We're going to take another time out. We're going to come back. We'll have some uh, notes as far as Emporia State, some of the players that they'll be bringing here into Alba this evening. We'll have a look at their scouting report. After this, you're listening to Lady Ranger Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug, right here on the Pulse 105.7. The last thing you needed this week was car trouble, and you're too busy to find a trustworthy shop. K&K Body Works in Alva is the first class choice. K&K Body Works is here to help you when life takes a wrong turn. Just come in, drop off your car, and we'll take care of the rest. From the estimate process to working with your insurance, our technicians will work to have your car looking as good as new. Real experiences with real people, a business you can trust. That's K&K Body Works, proud supporters of the Northwestern Rangers and the Alva Gold Bucks. Going to the dentist is one of the most common phobias among patients of all ages. If you feel this way, you are not alone. At Dr. Larry G. Smith's office in Alva, comfort and going above and beyond is embedded in our dental practice. We do what we can to eliminate the sounds, smells, discomforts, and financial fears of visiting the dentist. Making your experience surprisingly pleasant and positive is the top of our list. Our staff is focused daily on decreasing anxiety and worry to help your experience be even better. So, when you're looking for a home for your teeth, think of the friendly staff and doctor at Dr. Larry G. Smith's office in when you want the ultimate music and light show for your wedding, special event, or dance, you need Local Boys Entertainment. Whether it's country, rock, or the oldies, Local Boys Entertainment in Cherokee, Oklahoma will give you an unforgettable event. Local Boys offers the new Dancing on a Cloud with a dry ice fog machine, which is approved by most venues and perfect for your first dance. Local Boys Entertainment are the only ones in the area that offer this awesome effect. Book Local Boys today by calling 580-216-3116 or check them out on Facebook at Local Boys Entertainment. Don't settle for just a DJ. Book Local Boys Entertainment out of Cherokee today. You know, life can be funny. Just like on the field, it's not always the team with the best players that gets the win. Sometimes it's the players that make up the best team who come out on top. The same can be said for insurance, and that's why you're going to want to team up with McDermott and Associates when it comes to your insurance needs. McDermott and Associates is a family-owned business with more than 40 years in the insurance industry. They can help you turn your loss into a win. Visit the winning team today at McDermott and Associates, 526 Flynn in Alva, or call them at 580-327-3500. That's McDermott and Associates. 
And welcome back to the Exotic Heat Wave pregame show right here on the Pulse 105.7. Before we jump into the rest of our pregame show, we do want to thank the official travel partner of Blue Sky Media, Local Boys Entertainment out of Cherokee, Oklahoma. Folks, don't settle for just a DJ, but Local Boys Entertainment out of Cherokee today for your next uh, party that you have coming up. Again, great bunch of guys. Appreciate them being the official travel partner of Blue Sky Media. Coming up shortly, we'll also have the starting lineup, which will be brought to you by the Rusty Bucket and then also so for the rest of our pregame show, the State Farm Keys to the Game brought to you by State Farm agent Stephen Eaton. But before that, Jacob, let's take a look at the opponent tonight, uh, Emporia State. When you look at them offensively and defensively, what can the Lady Rangers expect to see this evening? I mean, on offense, you're really going to see an in-and-out post game. I mean, they've got the big girls, and they also do match that bi- those big girls with shooting on the outside. So they're going to try to get in the paint. They're going to draw those girls in on our zone and then kick it out to that paint, kick it out of the paint for that three. Then again, they've got the great green light from the th- uh, from the three-point line, and they are going to let it fly. One thing also about Emporia State on, off- on offense, they're going to crash the offensive glass. Lady Rangers are going to have to make sure they find a way to get a body on somebody. Yeah, a lot of length of this team. You know they're going to hit those boards hard. Lady, our Lady Rangers got to box out and hope we get the rebound. Well, what could you expect from Emporia State defensively? Defensively, you know they're probably going to go zone. They might run a little bit of man here and there, but this is going to be a long defense. Lady Rangers are going to have to be careful with their passes. They're going to get a lot of tip balls. we got to make sure we get a pump pick in there, dribble, drive. You get inside the paint. You can't just go straight up into those trees, Dustin. Well, and one thing also, no cross-court passes. Let's try and keep limit those because that's where you see a lot of teams get in trouble and uh, have turnovers when they try and go across that zone like that. Somebody from Emporia State's probably going to end up getting a hand on it. Of course, they're going to be extremely long this game. It's going to be it's going to be a tough test for uh, Rangers here. Well, and you look at Emporia, when we look at them, as far as their lineup, some of the players to keep an eye on, one uh, player they will be without tonight will be Treasure Job. Again, they're one of their point guard, a capable three-point shooter, but more dangerous off the dribble. She will not be playing here tonight, but talk about some of these other players that Emporia State's going to throw out here this evening. I'm number 21, Jessica Wayne, a guard, lefty, long, and athletic. She will shoot a three, but she would much rather get to the rim, so the Lady Rangers are going to have to make sure they keep her in check. Leading score over this year, almost averaging about 19.7 points a game, Dustin. Oh, yeah, again, that's, it's going to be uh, one to keep an eye on. Anybody else that you see for uh, Northbuster is going to have to keep an eye on. I mean, you really, it's more of a well-rounded team with what they got what, from our scouting report. Number 35, Tyra Jones, post, lefty, extremely athletic, driving hard. You kind of see this dynamic where they're going to drive and kick. So they got number 44, Emily Miller, lefty, best three-point shooter. It doesn't look pretty, Dustin, but it does go in. So we got to make sure we keep her in check as well. Well, and then the one player in her fifth year at Emporia State after missing a season ago with a knee injury uh, and actually a scrimmage in October. She's seventh in career, made three-pointers in Emporia with 159 has scored 1,133 points in 104 games. Talking about the senior guard, Addie Lackey. Again, coming off, uh, she was her best player from two years ago, but again, missed last year due to an ACL. Very good player, very good three-point shooter. Can put it on the floor. Pretty much all-around great basketball player is Lackey. Yeah, and I mean, it's kind of with Kalia King. She might have that torn ACL, but she's still going to be able to play. She's still got it. Well, Jacob, before we uh, take our final break, let's, let's have our State Farm keys to the game, which is brought to you by State Farm agent Steph. All right, Dustin. First, Lady Rangers, we've got to start fast. We can't come out slow. It can't be. It's got to be fast. We also need to play a full game. We can't just play one quarter, two quarters. we got to play a full four quarters tonight. Next key, high percentage shots. You want to get into the lane. You want to be able to get around those big posts. Last key of the game, get back in transition. They are looking to push tonight. Well, there you have it, folks. Our State Farm keys to the game brought to you by State Farm agent Stephanie Eaton. We're going to take a final time. Out. We'll come back. We'll have the national anthem. We'll have the Rusty Bucket starting lineup after this break. You're listening to Lady Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug here on the Ranger Sports Network, the Pulse 105.7. When it comes to operations in the oil field, service and dependability are a must. That's why you need Regal Oil Field Supply as your partner in the field. Regal Oil Field Supply has a 30 year record of delivering parts, supplies, and services when and where you need them. Call Regal today at 580 327 0 770 and discover why they have been the trusted name for oil field supplies in northern Oklahoma. That's Regal Oil Field Supply at 580 327 0770. 
Just look for the arches. That's right, the golden arches at McDonald's in Alva. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, pancakes, Big Macs, fries, or even a refreshing salad, thank McDonald's first. Once again this year, McDonald's should be your pregame or postgame stop for all Goldbug and Ranger game days. McDonald's is also the proud home to the Alva Goldbug and Northwestern Ranger coaches shows this season. That's McDonald's in Alva, a proud supporter of all area schools and activities. Are you in need of electrical work done at your home, farm, or business? Northwest Electric in Alba is your local and friendly contractor for all your electrical needs. Daryl, David, Tim, and Scott are fully qualified electricians with over 100 years of combined electrical experience. From new lighting options and troubleshooting to new construction or remodeling of your home or business, Northwest Electric is here to serve you beyond the call of duty. Northwest Electric is a proud supporter of Goldbug and Ranger Athletics. Northwest Electric, where we don't want all the business, just yours. Is your flooring boring and outdated? Then you need to contact Pettit's House of Carpet in Alva, Oklahoma today. Pettit's has it all. Hardwood, porcelain, LVT, ceramic, and rugs in all the best name brands. Let the experts at Pettit's help you find the perfect color, pattern, texture, and style for your home or business. What are you waiting for? Don't just settle for any old flooring. Get the experts. Get Pettit's House of Carpet today. Come see them at 1128 College Boulevard in Alva or schedule your consultation by calling 327-3044. That's 327-3044. Pettit's House of Carpet, where we put quality first. And welcome back as we put a close on the exotic Heatwave pregame show as tip-off is set to begin shortly as Northwestern is taking on Emporia State here this evening. Emporia 2-0 on the 2018-19 season. Again, head coach Toby Wynn in his first year. He's 2-0 so far this year. Assistant coach Kill Unruh and also Brooke Costley. For your Northwestern Rangers are 1-1 one one so far this season with a loss to UCO and with a win over Northeastern State University. Northwestern is coached by Tasha Dieselhorst in her third season at the helm for the Lady Rangers. She's 22-36. and 36. Assistant coach Kylie Franz in her third year. Dawson Tittebeck in her first year and also J.C. Stinson in her first season as well for the Lady Rangers. But it's time for the starting lineup for both squads, and it's brought to you by the Rusty Bucket. Let's start with the visitors on the scoreboard. This is how the starting lineup will look for Emporia State. They'll start a 5'8 sophomore guard from El Dorado, Kansas, number 10, Callie Martin. A 6'3 senior center from Paola, Kansas, number 20, Tiana Moala. A 5'9 junior guard from Kansas City, Kansas, number 21, Jessica Wayne. A 5'9 graduate a guard from Hillsboro, Kansas, number 24, Addie Lackey. You don't see that too often. And the final starter for Emporia State, a 5'10 graduate forward from Columbia, Missouri, number 44, Emily Miller. So two graduates actually starting for Emporia State. You just don't see that too many times, Jacob. You don't have I mean, coming back from injury, I mean, if they're going to come get their education, sure. I love it. So again, Emporia State coached by Toby Wynn. Is there 2-0 on the season? Now let's have the starting lineup for your Northwestern League. Lady Rangers. This is how the starting lineup will look for the Rangers this evening. They'll start a 5'8 redshirt junior guard from Round Rock, Texas, number two, Kalia King. A 5'5 redshirt junior guard from Bryan, Arkansas, number 10, Jacaria Ote. A 5'10 freshman forward from Cash in Oklahoma, number 21, Presley Payasapi. Next starter, a 5'5 redshirt senior guard from Pond Creek, Oklahoma, number 22, Jay Jones. And the final starter for Northwest Western, a six-foot six sophomore forward from Enid, Oklahoma, by way of Chisholm High School, number 30, Bailey Brown. So Kalia King, Jakiri Ote, Presley Payasapi, Jay Jones, and Bailey Brown, your starters this evening for Northwestern. North Great. Lady Rangers will be in their white uniforms with the white and red shorts with the black trim. They'll be the black lettering and the red numbering this evening. For Emporia State, they'll be in their road black uniforms with uh, very interesting, unique uniforms down the sides. They've got kind of those gold bars, I guess you could... Maybe kind of like a honeycomb, you know? There I you mean, go. they're not the bees, they're the hornets, but still same family almost, right? Yeah, I would say that's a good call. Again, with the black lettering across the front, Emporia State will be going right to left across your radio dial, northwestern left to right, as the opening tip is won and controlled by Emporia State, and we are underway here in quarter number one. Into the front court with it is Emporia State. Now into the hands of Addie Lackey. Now dipping it inside as they get it to Moala. Now back up top. Lackey, she'll trigger the three, and it's good. That inside-out game, you can't, you can't sink down that far in the post there. Big shot from Lackey. 
as she knocks that one down, Emporia State leads. Again, Lackey on the season, averaging right at 10 points per game as Bailey Brown tries to score inside. Her shot is blocked. Tiana Moala with the rejection. You'd like, to, you'd like to see Bailey Brown get her body into Moala. You can't let her get her hands extended like that. Miller back down with it for Emporia State. She's got it left corner. Now to Moala, free throw line. Now back up top to Martin. To Moala, back up top, Martin wide open. Dishes back to Moala, free throw line jumper. That one is an air ball, no good, not even close. And we'll go back the other way. Couldn't convert on the shot, but one thing that you can already see is the passing is pretty crisp right now. It really is. They move the ball very well. They've had some good looks. That one was just short from Moala. On the season, Lackey with that three is now 5 of 15 on the season from three. As Kalia King goes into the paint, her shot is blocked. Second block from Moala. Warrior State wants to run into the front court. Comes Jessica Wayne. And out of Miller, and she has it knocked away and stolen from her. Jakiri Ote comes out of there with it after the turnover. Ote, top of the key. Right wing, Jay Jones. Thought about the three, didn't take it. And you heard Coach DeSource tell her to take that shot. Yeah, so you got to take that shot. It's wide open. It's in transition. It's a good shot. Jay Jones, right wing. Again, that extended zone to Ote. Ote dribbles inside. All the way by Moella. Tries to score. She missed the end. Close layup with the right hand. Rebound pulled down by Emily Miller. That's one you got to have. Now, great hesitation. She got Moella to jump and then went right around her. Now into the front court goes Jessica Wayne. Now to Lackey, top of the key. Swings it right wing into the hands of Martin. Back to Lackey. Pump fakes, now dribbles in, got away with a walk, and nope, apparently not, as the referee did catch it that time. And we do have live stats this evening. Beautiful. So after the turnover, Northwestern will have it. Bailey Brown will inbound, and you'll see a 2-2-1 press here from Emporia State. Now to Ote, still in the backcourt. Now up to King, and the pass is knocked away. A lazy pass that time, taken away by Jessica Wayne. Wayne will bring it up into the front court. drives all the way to the rim. Her shot with the left hand is no good as it's too strong. Paya Sappy with the rebound for Northwestern. Eddie Rangers want to run as Ote has it left wing. Back up top to Jay Jones. Cross-court pass to King here near the right wing. Now to Jones. Played two and a half minutes. Rangers, Lady Rangers with no points so far as Brown has it right corner. Looking inside, now into Payasapi. Kicks it out, Jay Jones, left wing. Jones tries to drive in, stops, pops. That one is no good off the glass. You see everything is challenged right now for Emporia State. As Wayne quickly back down as the, she beat the defense, scores with the left hand off the glass, and it's 5-0 Emporia State. Like we said in the keys of the game, they want to push and transition. Those are easy buckets that, they, that we're going to give up. So Payasapi bounce pass to Brown, and we're going to get a kickball. I think that was kicked by Moala. So again, we'll see substitution. Morgan Loudon will check in. Also checking in will be Tyra Jones. Inbounds pass goes to Brown. Brown has it left baseline. Kicks it out. Ote back up top. Kalia King makes a move. Now to Ote. Left wing. Pump fakes. Dribbles in. Loses control of it. Able to retain possession. And then she's hit from behind as she tried to go over the shot in the paint. As Tyra Jones blocked that one out of bounds, but I think she got her with a body. You know, Jones, she might have not got her on the hand, but she came down. you got to stay straight up whenever she goes for a shot. So Ote will go to the free throw line for the Lady Rangers on the season. O Ote at the foul line is 5 of 8 so far for 62%. Chance for Lady Rangers to get on the board. And the first free throw rattles home. It's good. And it's 5 to 1 Hornets. Second free throw upcoming. Knocks that one down to Zote. It's 5-2. Hornets on top of the Rangers. Now bringing it up for Emporia State. It'll be Patty Lackey. Now to Miller. Back up top, Lackey. Bounce pass into the hands of Jones. Jones drives into the paint, and we get a whistle and an offensive foul as she ran over Kalia King in the paint, and we'll go back the other way. Great position. Caught her out of control there. Set her feet. Fell. Great job by Kalia King there. 6.45 to go. First quarter from Alva. It's 5-2. Hornets over the Lady Rangers. Tyra Jones will check out now after her second personal foul. The second team foul against Emporia State. You know, she she gets the 2,000 comes out, but they really don't sacrifice any size with the other girls they have on the bench. No, they 
they don't. Again, this is a big team. Again, checking in for her was Daly Handy. Six foot from Wichita, Kansas. Mays High School. Paya Sappy tries to look underneath to Kalia King. It gets away from her and out of bounds. And that's another turnover against the Lady Rangers. Jacob, I think that's already three up yeah. for Northwestern. Great look. I just think Kalia got ahead of herself there. No, she did. Yeah. So 5-2, to two, Hornets lead, 6.20 to go. Miller, back up top, Lackey. Now into the hands of Morgan Loudon. Cross-court pass to Wayne. Loudon with it, free throw line. Now over to Miller, left wing for the three, and that one's good from the left wing as the lefty Emily Miller knocks that one down. And we told you, their best three-point shooter doesn't look pretty, but it doesn't have to if it goes in. No, it does not. 8-2, to two, Hornets lead. Under six minutes to go, first quarter from Alva. Jay Jones, pump fakes now back to Ote, left wing. Back up top, Jay Jones dribbles to her right. Now into the paint, loses control of it. It's knocked away and stolen. Emporia State comes out of there with it. Lackey drives all the way and spins into the paint. Blew the in close layup. Offensive round, rebound pulled down by Loudon, and her stick back is good. And Coach Diesel Horse wants a timeout. 5.39 to play first quarter from Alva. Hornets on top of the Lady Rangers 10-2. to We'll take the time out with them. This is Lady Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. State Farm, Kathy here. Hey, it's Mike. My team just pulled off the biggest upset ever. Nice, Mike. And some fans are getting crazy. They even flipped over a car. Whoa. Turns out it's my car, though. Oh. But I don't want to be upset right now. I want to know State Farm's going to take care of this, right? We got you covered, Mike. Yes. Woo! Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Call State Farm agent Stephanie Eaton at 327-3600 today. The Rusty Bucket Floral Design offers one-of-a-kind arrangements for weddings, funerals, holidays, and all those special occasions. The Rusty Bucket also offers delivery in Elva and the surrounding communities. They are offering pumpkins and mums in the fall, fresh greenery and poinsettias for Christmas, plus annuals and perennials in the spring. If you prefer indoor plants, they carry a variety of indoor plants for you to choose from. Rusty Bucket strives on giving you the best customer service. Call the Rusty Bucket at 580-327-5444 or stop by their location on the corner of 5th and Barnes in downtown Alda. Out of the timeout, Northwestern will be in possession as we've seen a quick update. Excuse me, quick update. A quick substitution for Northwestern. Checking in for the Rangers was Kylie Leverett as now Jagiri Ote is bumped and fouled near the half line, near the scores table. And she was trapped over there. Again, that defense from Emporia State put pressure on Northwestern in the backcourt. We hadn't seen the trap yet, but it was in the scouting report that they will trap in those corners. It's an extra defender, and they're going to utilize that. So Northwestern to inbound. Ote has it. Now into the hands of Leverage. Leverage, bounce pass into the hands of King. Now to McKenzie Billy, who's checked in. Pump fake. She loses control of it. Goes to the floor. Now Kalia King's able to pick it up. Bounce pass to Brown. Brown tries to score underneath. She's bumped and fouled on the way up after she missed the shot. And she'll go to the foul line for two. A little sloppy, but it kind of the ball bounced her way, and we got a layup. So Bailey Brown will be at the free throw line as they whistle that last foul against Addie Lackey. Her first per... Oh, my apologies. That's Loudon who gets the foul. Her first personal 14 foul already against Emporia State as the free throw from Brown is up and good. Brown now 7 of 9 on the season for over 75%. Talking with Coach Tasha Diesel, Dieselhorse, she did say getting them in foul trouble would be a key to this game. Second free throw is up and good, and it's a good start to it. Already four. One more puts the range, Lady Rangers the rest of the, uh, the bonus the rest of the way. Lackey now with it into the front court. Looking inside. Now back out to Lackey. Takes and fires the three, and she hit another one. My goodness, already two for two here this evening, and it's 13-4. Two for two. She's two for two. They're three for three as a team. they got to get out on those shots. 13-4. to four. Leverage has it into the front court. Now dishes into King. King goes all the way to the rim. Scores off the glass. Count the basket, and she's fouled. As from behind, that was Daly Handy who hit her. But a good strong move and finished by Kalia King. Jay Jones will check back in now for leverage. But my goodness, what a move from Kalia King. King on the season, 5 of 11 from the foul line. Make it 6 of 12 for 50%. And the Lady Rangers are back within 6. Lackey into the front court to Miller. Back up top, Lackey dishing inside to Loudon. To Miller, she fires a three again. That one's off. Strong, no good. 
and that'll go out of bounds. I mean, not to knock on her shot, she's an excellent basketball player, but it almost looks like she's not supposed to shoot that. Yeah, that just look, it just comes off so awkwardly. It really does. But you know what? She would probably beat us in a three point shooting contest. I would imagine so. Shakiri Ote with it in the backcourt. She crosses the half line. Now has it left wing. Now left baseline. Pulls back out to Billy. Now to Jade Jones. Top of the key. Jones. Now to Billy. Right wing. Right baseline. Now to Brown. Back up top. Jade Jones. Jones into the paint. Kicks it out. Ote. Left wing. Triggers the three. That one's too strong. No good. Kalia King pulls down the offensive board. Now back out to Jones. To Billy. Pump fakes. Back to Jones. I thought about the three, didn't take it. Now to King into the paint. Double team comes, dishes underneath to Bailey Brown, who scores with the left hand off the glass. What a pass from Bailey King. Extremely great ball movement by the Lady Rangers right there, Dustin. And that's exactly how you beat the zone. Yes, you got to pass the ball. You have to make crisp, short passes. 13-9. Lady Rangers now at five straight. As there's a three-pointer again from Jessica Wayne. As Emporia State now hit it at 16-9. They're now four of five from beyond the arc. A hot start from three as Billy has it right wing. Back up top, Jay Jones. She'll trigger the long three. That one's too short, no good. Brown saves it, inbounds, tipped out by an Emporia State player. And now Jay Jones will get it, and we get a whistle and a stoppage of play. I believe that Jay Jones three did not hit the rim, I think is what they're saying, and they're going to change the shot clock. I think our shot clock operator thought we had a change of possession, but it was just a tip. Yeah, there we go. So 14 seconds on this possession for the Lady Rangers. McKenzie Billy to inbound here into the hands of Jade Jones. Jones has it right wing. Now to Billy. Billy gets inside. Now kicks it back out to Ote. Four seconds, three seconds. Ote loses control of it, goes out of bounds. It doesn't matter as it's going to be a whistle and a shot clock violation and a very good defensive possession from Emporia State. Yeah, not great spacing there by the Rangers on, over here on the right side of the floor. Checking in Kenzie Lamer now for Northwestern. Mackenzie Billy will check out. 16-9. to Emporia State over Northwestern. 3.09 to play first quarter from Alva. Into the front court goes Miller. Now back into the hands of Martin. Now back to Miller, and we get a whistle, and it'll stay with Emporia State as that pass was tipped away by Jay Jones. Jessica Wayne will exit. Addie Lackey will come back in. 21 to shoot. That's just to our left. Emily Miller will inbound. Inbound to Loudon. Loudon, cross-court pass to Lackey. Now into the hands of Martin. Back to Lackey. Bounce pass Loudon. Now to Miller. Miller wants to drive baseline. She's cut off. Now back out Lackey. Top of the key. Lackey looking inside. Dishes inside to Moala. And she's able to score in the paint. And that was pretty easy. Great look by Lackey. She caught the Rangers there out of, out of position. And again, that was pretty good ball movement. And they found the... Uh, Player inside Tiana Moala. Again, folks, goes at 6'3". Pretty easy for her to score right in front of the rim. It says 6'3", but I wouldn't be surprised if she's closer to 6'4", Dustin. Yeah, I, I'm with you. As now into the paint goes Brown. She's bumped and fouled trying to go baseline that time. It should be on Tiana Moala. And if it is, that's the fifth team foul. First personal foul, fifth team foul. The Rangers will be at the foul line for the rest of the quarter. In the bonus. So Bailey Brown to the free throw line, where she's already two for two here this evening. Free throw is up, and she rattles that one home. Presley Payasapi will uh, check back in. Shakiri Ote will exit. Bailey Brown with five quick points to lead Northwestern in scoring. Three of the five coming from the charity strike. Second free throw. That one is up and good. It's 18 to 11. Hornets over the Lady Rangers. Lackey will bring it into the front court for Emporia State. Now into the hands of Martin, right wing. This is inside to Loud, and it gets away from her, though. It'll be a turnover against Emporia State. That's now the fourth turnover against the Lady Hornets. As Jones will bring it up now to Lamer here on the near side. Lamer beats the press up ahead to Bailey Brown, right wing. She'll trigger the three. It's blocked from behind, but she's hit actually across the arm by Emily Miller, and that's huge. Brown will go to the foul line for three. I'll say, if they don't call that one, I could hear that one even with the headset on. <laughs> well, that's one of those, if you're Emily Miller, that's a bad foul. Uh, yeah, it's not. I mean, 
you're out of position, yeah, you got caught. It's okay. And now back to the foul line. Bailey Brown will go. First free throw from Brown is up and good. If she hits all three, later Rangers have a chance to get within four. And Jessica Wayne really wanted to check in. Has to wait till the second free throw. A little excited over there. Nothing wrong with that. Second free throw up coming from Brown. Free throw is up, and that one's good. Back in the game, Wayne Jones. Lady one. So Wayne will check in. Also checking in Tyra Jones. Third and final free throw. Brown knocks it down. Good start tonight from Bailey Brown. How about this? 10 for 10 are the Lady Rangers from the foul line. I mean, if you're going to put them on the foul line, you got to make them, and it's, it's paying off for the Lady Rangers. Lackey with it to Jones. Right elbow. She'll take the long two and knocks it down. Nice shot from Tyra Jones. 20 to 14, Hornets. Leah King into the front court, now into the paint. Stops and tries to look inside as that was Bailey Brown cutting into the paint. But too far out in front of her, and that's a turnover against the Lady Rangers. They got the ball in the middle of the press break, which is what they want to do here. It breaks down that defense. It makes it really tough, but you cannot turn the ball over there. Lackey now into the hands of Martin right wing. Back to Lackey. Out of Jones, right elbow. Jones pushes off against Brown, and Brown goes down, but she's able to score off the glass. Very impressive move right there. I think Brown might have tripped maybe, but, man, I, she elevated quickly. Yeah, she did. I don't think that's one where you could have called an offensive foul. It's a pretty good move by Jones, and I think Brown was already going down. As King tries to score from the baseline, and she does off the glass. Comes up a little bit gimpy on that left ankle, though. Oh, I think she's good. She's running down the court pretty well, but let's hope she stays good. 22-16. Lady Hornets lead the Lady Rangers. Lackey with it. Top of the key. Cross court pass to Martin. Cross court pass now to Wayne. She'll trigger a long three from the left wing and she hit it again. My goodness. Five of six are the Hornets from three. Lamer now into the front court. Right wing. She'll take the long three. Hit from behind. No call as that one rattled out. Rebound tipped around into the hands of Jessica Wayne. I mean, very similar play to Bailey Brown play. Probably could have called him. Wayne to Jones, dishes off to Lackey. Her jumper is good as it hits the back iron and falls in. And that's five straight. It's 27-16. Lamer to Brown, right corner as she has it taken away from her from Jessica Wayne. All of a sudden, Emporia State pulling away here in the quarter. Miller fires from three and she hit it. My goodness, how quickly the game changes. Eight straight for Emporia State. It's 30-16. to Got to get out on the three-point shooters. She is... I mean, I think, what, she's two for two already. They're six to seven as a team. King will fire a long jumper, and that one rattles home. It's good. Four seconds, three seconds. Could be the final basket, and it will be. Well, wacky three-quarter court shot. It's good if it goes. It does not. And that will do it for quarter number one in Alva. Emporia State, a very impressive showing in quarter number one as they go 12 of 16 from the field and six of seven from beyond the arc. They lead Northwestern 30 to 18. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. Quarter number two begins after this. This is Lady Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. Alva State Bank wants to help you meet your personal and business financial needs. We are committed to our communities and are motivated to build strong and lasting relationships with our customers. Stop by any of our convenient locations in Alva, Enid, Burlington, Freedom, or Kiowa to speak to our friendly staff about how we can help you today to prepare for your tomorrow. Alva State Bank, family owned and operated, member FDIC. With all the sites to see in or around Alva, you don't want to miss a thing. Let Alva Vision Clinic, a member of Vision Source, bring life into focus for you. At Alva Vision Clinic, your family's vision health is our business, and they always keep it personal from your initial exam to the selection of that perfect pair of glasses or contacts. They have been a part of the Alva community since 1931. So make your next appointment with the staff that cares. Visit Alva Vision Clinic at 504 College Avenue in downtown Alva today.
And welcome back as we are set to begin quarter number two here on the Pulse 105.7. Dustin Goodall alongside Jacob Bogus. Rough first quarter for the Lady Rangers, Jacob. I Just mean, near the last two minutes, though. Yeah, the last two minutes, I mean, the Lady Rangers ended up in the first quarter with six turnovers, and they had 12 points off of those turnovers. It's really killing the Rangers right now. And again, there's another turnover as Tyra Jones comes out of there with it for Emporia State. Now all the way into the paint, kicks it out. Lackey, she'll fire the three. That one's short, no good. Offensive rebound pulled down by Wayne. Nobody blocked her out and put a body on her. Now to Martin. Miller back up top. Lackey, another three. That one's short, no good. And Jay Jones runs, runs down the rebound in the right corner. Jones into the front court, looking up ahead into the hands of Tori Coulter, who's checked in. Now to Lamer. Lamer thought about the three, didn't take it. Now Payasapi, right elbow jumper. That one is good. Good looking shot from the freshman from Cashin. That's going to be the key to the offense is get that ball into the middle of the paint. It really breaks down the Hornets defense. So 30 to 20, and we get a whistle and a stoppage of play. Not 100% sure what this is about. Again, it will be still in Portia State basketball as Jacari Ote will check in on the stoppage of play. Kinsey Lamer will check out. Wayne to inbound just to the left of the Northwestern bench. Lackey, now to Wayne, back to Lackey. Now to Jones, right elbow, throws it into the paint to Miller. Tries to go up with it, was going to kick it back out to Martin, but she's bumped and fouled on her way up. Maybe bailed out there, but nothing you can do about the call. It's on the floor, so it won't get hurt with free throws. So, again, the foul is on the floor. It's Lackey to inbound. Up underneath the basket for Emporia State. Trying to get it in. Now has to throw it all the way out to Jones near the half line. Jones has it. This is off to Lackey. Cross court pass to Martin. They swing it around Miller. Back up top of the key to Lackey. She's bumped. No call. Now out to Wayne. They dip it inside to Jones. Jones turn around. Offensive foul as she ran over Paya Sappy. And we'll go back the other way. Great play by Paya Sappy there. She really got right in her in her area. And as soon as she turned, it was a charge. It was. And again, she was standing her ground. Nice job by Presley Paya Sappy as we see that here on the replay. Big development on in this game. That is her third foul. That is a huge uh, game for the Rangers. And again, Jones, four points to go along with those three personal fouls now and two turnovers. Now quickly up ahead into the hands of Coulter, left wing three. That one's too strong, no good. Bailey Brown stays it with the uh, rebound, able to pull it down. Another offensive board for the Lady Rangers. Ote, right wing. Asafi, cross court pass to Jay Jones, left wing bounce pass, Coulter, left corner for three. That one's short, no good. Rebound tipped around into the hands of Wayne. One on one, Wayne going all the way at Jones, now pulls it back out to Miller. Back to Wayne. Wayne dribbles all the way to the paint, kicks it out, left corner three for Martin. That one's short, no good. Rebound pulled down by Payasafi. Jones wants to run into the front court. Payasafi, right wing, cross court pass to Ote. Now to Coulter. Left corner. She'll fire another three. That one's strong. No good. Coulter's getting really good looks at those three. She's just not converting right now. Emporia State now with it into the front court. Martin. Yeah, at some point, one of those is going to have to fall. I mean, I mean she's you get over good... four now. Oh, of three. Okay. My apologies. As Martin will check out. Checking in Brittany Kramer for Emporia State to Lackey. Now to Miller, left wing. Back to Lackey. Now to Wayne, free throw line. Out to Kramer, left corner for three. That one spun out, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Emporia State. It'll go back over to Northwestern. Well, here's the point. This is where the Rangers, Lady Rangers, have got to take advantage. Emporia State has come out cold in quarter number two. If they're not going to make shots, if we make a stop, we've got to score. That's how you get, that's how you uh, shorten the lead. Jones, now to Ote. Hands it back to Jones, now in between the two rings. Back to Ote, left wing. Back up top, Jay Jones gets a screen from King. Right elbow jumper, that one's too strong, no good. Pay a sappy, tries to keep it alive. It's tipped down into the hands of Lackey of Emporia State. Lackey quickly up ahead to Miller. Back to Lackey. Pump fakes, drives in, right elbow jumper is good. Nice looking shot from Addie Lackey. She's got 10. Great move by Lackey. Simple hesitation, pump fake, and she was wide open. Leading all scores now in the game with 10. Four of eight from the field. It's 32-20 as King into the paint. Goes up. Moala blocked the shot. Offensive rebound. 
rebound and stick back is no good from Bailey Brown. Wayne pulls down the board. Quickly up ahead to Kramer. Runs over. Jay Jones able to get a whistle and a travel. No foul called there. Here's my thing. Something has to be called there. You can't call the travel. You got to call either a <laughs> offensive foul or a block. It, I agree with you, Dustin. So, but it is a turnover. Works out well for the uh, Lady Rangers. We'll go back over the other way. Ote back to Jones. Out of Ote on the far side. Goes by Kramer. Has it left wing. Bounce pass to Jay Jones. Back to Ote. Ote dribbles all the way in. Left baseline. Jumper is good from Jakiri Ote. Now with four in the game. Her first field goal. One thing I've noticed is it, they're really struggling to keep Jakiri Ote in front of them. Yes, they are. She's done a good job attacking that short corner. 32-22. Emporia State on top by 10. Kramer has it. Now bounce pass out to Lackey. Left wing three. That one's no good. Ball over, all over the top of Bailey Brown that time. I think we're going to get a pushing foul and go back the other way. If we do, that's her second personal foul. Second team foul. What all of a sudden, Emporia State has gone cold. Yes. And it's a great thing for the Lady Rangers if we can convert on offense. It's We've got to have a stop and then a score. So, again, we'll see... Yeah, because after quarter number one, they were six of seven. They've missed their last five here in be to begin quarter number two. The thing is, they've missed their last five, but they're still shooting 50% from three. That's right. King now out to Ote, left wing. Ote, now to Payasapi, left baseline to Leverich, right wing. Now to Ote. Bounce pass, Leverich, right wing three. Got it from the right wing. Big shot from Leverich. And the Lady Rangers have their first three-point make. Yeah, finally shooting. Now they're one of seven. Maybe we can get a couple to fall like they were. 32-25 as Wayne takes the jumper. That one's no good. Ote runs down the board for Northwestern. Opportunity here for the Lady Rangers. Ote will bring it up. Inside to Bailey Brown. Pass is tipped away by Wayne. Good defensive play there. It'll go out of bounds, but it'll stay with the Lady Rangers. Good look by Ote, but you got to make sure this team is long. They will get their hand on that pass almost every single time. Lady Rangers now one of seven from beyond the arc. Leverage to inbound. Now get it out to Ote. It passes tipped by Wayne. Now into the hands of Ote, though. Ote dribbles in, has it knocked away from her, and it'll stay with Northwestern last touch by Emporia State. Once again, another tipped pass by Wayne. Oh, it is. I mean, they've gotten, if we're keeping stats for deflections, I bet there's been a ton of them. Oh, at least, at least 10. At least 10. Beverage to inbound. Throws it out to McKenzie Billy. The pass is tipped away again, but we get a whistle and a foul as Wayne bumped into her that time, going for uh, trying to intercept that pass. Get, we catch a break there. I mean, they're both going up for the ball. I mean, they it's bump into each other. It's almost play. incidental contact there. It, it really is. I thought it was a pretty good play. Three team fouls now. One personal foul against Jessica Wayne, her first. But again, two more will put the Lady Rangers in the bonus for the rest of the quarter. 5-14 to go. 32-25. Emporia State leads. Payasapi left corner. Back to Ote right wing. Now to Leverich. Now to Kalia King. Left elbow. Now into the paint. Dishes it off to Brown. The pass is knocked away and tipped by Emporia State's Miller. It'll stay with Northwestern. And it looks like Emporia State wants a timeout. We'll take it with Coach Wynn. 32-25, Emporia State leads this one. 4.59 to play till halftime. This is Lady Ranger Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. Hi, this is Adam Jordan with Beatles Nursing Home. At Beatles, we understand that making decisions about your future or the future of your loved ones can sometimes be difficult. But we are here to make the process as pleasant as possible. Life does not slow down when you come home to Beatles. For many residents, it's an all-new beginning, full of activities and fun. We strive to provide compassionate and comprehensive health here in a Christian environment. For more information or to schedule a visit, give us a call at 580-327-1274 or stop by 916 Noble Street in Al. At Bank Central, our roots run deep with a heritage that began over 100 years ago in Alva, Oklahoma. Today, our legacy continues to grow, not only in Alva, but in the other communities we serve. Woodward and Enid, Oklahoma, plus Harper and Anthony, Kansas. With our outstanding personnel, the latest in banking technology, and a wide variety of services, Bank Central has the banking expertise to help you with all your financial needs. We're Bank Central, and we're centered on you. Member FDIC. 
4.59 to go till halftime. Lady Rangers trailing the Emporia State Lady Hornets 32-25. Quick look at the uh, statistics so far on this one. It's 7 of 19 as Northwestern, 1 of 7 from beyond the arc. Uh, Emporia State 13 of 23, 6 of 12 from beyond the arc. One big thing is that the scoring difference in this quarter is 7 to 2 already for the Rangers. Yeah, it is. That's been a good start. As Leverage, left wing, 3. Got it! one from the left wing. Hit the first from the right. This one's from the left. All of a sudden Lady Rangers have crawled back to within four. Great drive by Kalia King. She really got a nice look for Kylie Leverage there. Lackey with it. Cross court pass into the hands of Loudon. Wayne now with it. Free throw line extended. Tries to dump it inside. That's a turnover as the pass gets away from Daly Handy. Emporia State has their seventh turnover of the evening. Ranger defense really cramping down right here. Leverage will bring it up. Now back to Ote. Now bounce pass back to Leverage. Boy, how about Leverage off the bench here this evening? Highly Leverage playing really well. The freshman from Cushing. Clea King tries to go up and score. She missed the shot off the left side. Off rebound pulled down by Daly Handy. Now up ahead to Miller. That one may have been a little forced that time. A little out of control, but you'd like to see her maybe pass it to an open three. Lackey out to Miller. Thought about the three, didn't take it. Now Lackey will. Right wing three. That one's no good. Again, missed their last seven, or excuse me, six now as Emporia State. They have cooled off completely. Leverage has it. Payasafi right corner. Bounce pass to Ote. Got right into the middle of that zone. Missed the in-close shot. Rebound pulled down by Emporia State. That's one you want back. Great cut by Ote. You've got to finish those easy layups, especially with those bigs that are not in there right now because of foul trouble. Loudon to Miller. Wayne fires long three. That one rattles out no good. Offensive rebound pulled down by Handy. Back out to Miller. To Lackey. Thought about the three. Didn't take it. To Miller. Back to Lackey on the far side out near the half line. Now in between the two rings to Wayne right wing. Back to Lackey. Pump fakes. Now goes left wing. Get a whistle and a foul. Ooh. I thought we could have had an offensive foul there. She had that elbow up and uh, leveraged his face. Yeah, she kind of extended that arm that time, but I'm not sure I agree with that. But first personal foul against Leverage, but she'll go to the bench with Ote. Bailey Farrell and Jay Jones will check in. Good minutes, though, from uh, Kylie Leverage. It looks like Coach Tasha Dieselhorse is trying to get, keep her guards fresh because she knows that they're going to have to fly around the perimeter. Loudon to Miller, a long three, and Miller hit another one from the left corner. Big shot as they missed their last six. It's now 35-28. Hornets by seven. King into the paint. Stops. Back out Jones. Bounce pass. Bailey Farrell left wing. Paya Sappy will shoot, trigger the long three. And she hit it. Big shot from Paya Sappy. She's got five. Lady Rangers back within four. Great shot. No hesitation right there, Dustin. No, she did. She pulled the trick, quick trigger that time from the freshman. Miller to Lackey. Now to Loudon. Free throw line back to Lackey. Good ball movement. Miller pump fakes. Cross court pass to Wayne, right wing. Now to Loudon. They try and dump it inside into the hands of Handy, and she loses control of it, goes out of bounds, and that's a turnover against Emporia State. Paya Safi may have got away with a little bump there, but you can live with that. Jones will bring it up. Lady Rangers within 4, 220 to play here till halftime from Alba. King, bounce pass from Jay Jones. Now back to Jones out near the half line. Now to Farrell. To Jones. Now Taya Sappy right corner. Good ball movement as the pass was tipped away. Trying to get it to Bailey Brown. Last touch by Emily Miller of Emporia State. 14 to shoot. Jay Jones will inbound. As looks like one of the officials will come over and have a quick conference with the other one near the baseline. I'm not really sure what they would be talking about. I mean, my guess would be where they're eating after. But... Maybe, maybe I'll Oh, my. They're changing the call. Apparently, the official on the far side of the floor came over and told this official that they were changing the call. I'm not sure I agree with that one, but to each his own on that call. But here we go. Hold on. Well, now, apparently, the Northwestern Ranger fan, somebody had said something to the official. Not sure who it was, but the official is going to stop play and come over. Now, here's the thing. I Sometimes you could say disagreeing with the call, but you really don't want to ever say anything. You don't want to take it too far. You, you don't, don't want to don't. cross that line. It's all it's all in fun and games when you attend one of the Ranger basketball games. 
but you got to keep yourself in check. No, you do. And again, I, you know, it's a tough call because the call was changed by an official who was on the far side of the floor. And I, again, that ball was last touched by Emily Miller. We both saw it in the corner as she tried to bounce it to, to Bailey Brown. So, again, I, I don't know. Uh, one of the officials are talking with athletic director Brad Franz right now. So, again, one of the Ranger. Again, we don't know who it was. It's off to our right. It looks like uh, they're going to come over and have a little quick conference with it. But it is going to be Emporia State basketball. That will be a turnover against uh, the Lady Rangers and a tough break. Especially since we got it to within four. Yeah, I mean... We're still within four. You just have a good uh, possession on defense here, and you hope you can go score. So here we go, 35-31. Hornets will have it on the inbounds pass to Lackey. Bounce pass to Wayne, right wing. Back to Lackey. Now to Miller, left wing. Back to Lackey, top of the key to Loudon, free throw line. Loudon spins into the paint. Double team comes. Turnaround jump shot is good with the right hand. Good move by Loudon. Not much you can do about that. No, what? that was pretty good defense. Just a really good shot from Loudon. 37-31, Hornets lead. Jones with it. We get a whistle and a foul against Lackey. That's the fourth team foul upcoming now against Emporia State. That's her second. Northwestern to inbound right in front of our broadcast position. Bailey Brown will trigger the inbounds pass into Jones here on the near side. Jones has it. Right wing to Bailey Farrell. Farrell dribbles to her left. Picks up her dribble. Now to Jones. Jones back to Farrell right wing. Farrell has it back to Jay Jones, right wing, pump fakes, and she's hammered by Miller that time. It was a nice job by pump fake to get her up in the air and then wanted to drive around her, but Miller just collides with her near the three-point line. I mean, great form tackle, but not the right sport, Dustin. That's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> no targeting on that, no, on that yeah. play. No, again, no, yeah, no, she, no she will stay in this game. Fourth, uh, excuse me, second personal foul against Miller. And Jay Jones misses the foul shot. She was actually perfect on the season until then. Was 13 of 13. Now 13 of 14 on the year. And that's one thing that Jay Jones really struggled with last year was her free throws. Second free throw. That one rattles home. As Jones knocks it down as she's in the scoreboard for their first point of the, of the evening. 37-32. Hornets lead with the ball. Lackey to Wayne. Right wing. Bounce pass to Handy to Loudon. Back up top, Lackey. Pump fakes. Free throw line jumper is good from Lackey. She knocks down another one. She's got 12. 39-32. Jones to pay a sappy. Right corner to Brown. Drives baseline. Throws up the shot. Hits the front of the rim. Side of the rim. Bounces off. And Loudon pulls down the board. She's bumped and fouled. Not a bad look from Brown that time, but... Again, I think they're going to get Bailey Farrell with the foul here. No, I think they got Bailey Brown with that one. Oh, they did. Okay. Bailey Brown, her first personal foul. The, just the third team foul against Lady Rangers. We're under a minute to go till halftime. 39-32. Lackey. Now inside to Loudon. Back up to Miller, left wing. Cross court pass to Wayne, right wing. It's a screen from Handy. Wants to drive. Kicks it out. Miller, left corner. She'll trigger another three. That one's an air ball. No good. Jay Jones pulled down the board. Wayne was reaching in that time. We'll get a whistle and a foul. We'll go back the other way. Not a good foul if you're Wayne. That's a bad, bad foul. I mean, you're almost 90 feet away from the basket there. You really don't need to do that right there, Dustin. And I get the the, the pressure of all over, wanting to be all over Jay Jones and you know, make it difficult for us. She brings it up. But, yeah, that, that's a bad foul that probably Coach Wayne's not going to be too happy about. Maybe a little frustration, too, with the, turn, with the bad shot, the turnover. You never know. Jones back to the foul line. Misses that one, though. Got to make those. Now just one of three. Second foul shot. Two of four. She knocks that one down. Lady Rangers within six. Lady Rangers really going to have to capitalize on those free throws, Dustin, if they're going to want to get back in this game. Well, they need a defensive stop here. They actually have the opportunity to get the ball back one more time. Miller with it, top of the key. About a six-second differential between shot clock and game clock. Wayne to Lackey. To Handy, out to Miller, left corner, pump fakes, goes baseline, kicks it, dishes it off to Handy. Her shot is no good off the glass. Rebound pulled down by Brown. 14 seconds to go. Big possession for the Lady Rangers. Jones wants to run. Handy's hurt as she's walking this one up to King, right wing. King spins all the way on Wayne, throws up the shot. It's no good, and we get a whistle and an over-the-back call, I believe, is coming, and a push from Bailey Brown. Two girls fighting for position there. 
play again. Clint King forced that one. Lane had pretty good defense that time. Trying to maybe draw the foul, but the official did not see it. And with Handy coming up the court so slow, I mean, yeah, she's injured, but, I mean, you've got a four on five right there. You've got to take advantage of it. 39-33. Hornets lead the Rangers. Here's the inbound pass. Only two seconds. Pulls up the shot. It's good if it goes. And it's just came like a hot call. That will be how we end the first half. Halftime from Alva. The Emporia State Lady Hornets lead the Northwestern Lady Rangers 39-33. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. The Regal Oilfield Supply Halftime Show begins after this. This is Lady Ranger Basketball brought to you by Older Drug right here on the Pulse 105.7. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding areas since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since conception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are our friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being our hometown bank. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. November is a great time to add a little nitrogen to your wheat crop as well as control some of the weeds and grasses in your field, such as joint grass and sheep. Here at the Alvin Farmers Co-op, they work to provide winter services to you in a timely manner. Please give Matt a call at 580-216-1413, Rick at 580-327-7383, or Merle at 580-430-6005, or come by their main office in Alba on the corner of Fulton Barnes so they can help you profit more your next month. The Alba Farmers Co-op would like to wish everyone a blessed holiday. Here's to the ones who want the best for their families. Those who go on vacation, the ones who hope to retire one day, those who want true financial freedom. At E&J Financial, they can help you achieve that. They focus on building long-lasting relationships that will educate and inspire them. True wealth. Let E&J Financial show you the difference because E&J Financial is where you can help you in the future. Visit them at one of the three locations in Woodward, Stillwater, and right here in Alabama. Looking to keep that beautiful summer tan through the fall and winter? Then you need to plan your visits to Exotic Heat Wave and take advantage of our 24-hour tanning. No matter your schedule, Exotic Heat Wave can give you access to Alva's best tanning facilities. In fact, all NWOSU students who present their student ID receive discounts on monthly tanning packages. Custom color spray tans are also available by appointment. Call Exotic Heat Wave today at 580-327-4328 or stop by the salon at 1016 Noble and Alva. Keep that summer glow all season long with Exotic Heat Wave. When you don't feel well, you want a doctor you know and trust. Dr. Linda McMurphy and Dr. Tim Newton at Great Salt Plains Health Center are pleased to meet the primary care needs for the communities where they were raised. Call 580-596-2800 as early as 7 a.m. Monday through Friday or late until 7 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday. Medicaid, Medicare, private insurance, or no insurance at all. Call 596-2800 to schedule an appointment with Dr. Linda McMurphy or Dr. Tim Newton and find out why so many others choose Great Salt Plains Health Center. Cherokee. Medford, Enid, and Canton. Stop by Holder Drug and Alpha as they have some exciting deals going on. Their Swig Cups are half price, marked down from $19.95. They have Gold Bug, Ranger, Sooner, and Cowboy Colors for each Swig Cup. Flu season is nearly upon us, so you can grab your flu shot anytime at Holder Drug. Be sure to bring your health insurance card. If you are without insurance, flu shots are $35. Fall decor is also in and moving quickly. And Holder Drug Fountain still has the best ice cream in town, so grab a delicious Jack and Jill Sunday. That's Holder Drug on the downtown square in Alva. And welcome back inside Percival Fieldhouse on the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University as it's basketball this evening. We are at the half, so which means it's time for the Regal Oil Field Supply halftime show. Dustin Goodno here with you. Jacob Bogus as well. Montana McCall, our in-studio producer and engineer, your Northwestern Ranger basketball crew this evening. Emporia State has come down on the road from Emporia, Kansas. They lead Northwestern 39-33 here at halftime. Uh, Jacob, before we get to the stats in this one, let's talk about the first half. You know, a struggle the last couple of minutes of quarter number one. Lady Rangers get down by as many as 14. They cut it back to within 12. But the second quarter was owned by the Lady Rangers. Got this thing down to four a couple times. Couldn't get any closer than that. But you have to love the fight that they had uh, back in quarter number two to get them within six. Yeah, you love only being down by six here. Of course, they would love to be on top or maybe tied or something like that. But 
to only be down by six and you necessarily haven't played your greatest basketball. You've got eight turnovers and you're only shooting 36% from the field to be down by six at this point in the game. I mean, you got to be happy with that, Dustin. No, you really do. And again, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Lady Rangers have not been very good from the field. They're not great from three right now. Where they've got it done, again, is at the foul line, where as a team, they are 12 of 14 uh, from the free throw line. Those two misses coming by way of Jay Jones, who's two for four. But that has definitely kept them in it. Also, Emporia State going a little bit cold to start quarter number two. They started uh, in the first half. I believe they were six of seven from beyond the arc in the first quarter. Quarter number two, they missed their first six and then ended up ending, hitting one more. But that's what kept Northwestern in as well. Emporia State struggled from beyond the arc. I mean, the Rangers are turning their defense in the offense, and they are capitalizing. Whenever they are missing shots, we are going down and scoring, and that's how you uh, shorten all those leads. Well, one of the things tonight, you know, from our scouting report, Northwestern didn't want to take bad, fast shots. They haven't really done that here tonight. We've maybe seen a couple of those. Maybe with Kalia Kings right here in the paint, we saw maybe one with Bailey Brown. But everything that Northwestern has put up out of those 25 shots, I would say maybe two of them have been bad and quick. Other than that, they've been pretty good looks, just nothing falling so far. A lot of good ball movement from here from the Rangers. I mean, you got to you got to applaud them for getting the ball inside the middle of the zone and working from there. You see Kalia, Kalia King in there almost, I mean, she's 5'8", maybe. That's what it says on the roster. But she's in there almost like a post and she is facilitating this game right now. Well, one thing, too, Northwestern defensively wanted to get back, uh, you know, and keep Emporia State from getting in transition, getting easy baskets. Guess what? They've done that tonight, folks. Emporia State just with five fast break points here this evening. So, again, Lady Ranger defense, after some of those missed shots, they've been able to get back and not allow Emporia State to get any cheap baskets uh, in transition. So we're going to take another timeout. We're going to come back. We'll have a uh, team statistic re- uh, team statistic recap of the first half as you're listening to Lady Ranger Basketball here in the Regal Oilfield Supply Halftime Show right here on the Pulse 105.7. The last thing you needed this week was car trouble and you're too busy to find a trustworthy shop. K&K Body Works in Alva is the first class choice. K&K Body Works is here to help you when life takes a wrong turn. Just come in, drop off your car and we'll take care of the rest. From the estimate process to working with your insurance, our technicians will work to have your car looking as good as new. Real experiences with real people. A business you can trust. That's K&K Body Works. Proud supporters of the Northwestern Rangers and the Alva Gold Bucks. Going to the dentist is one of the most common phobias among patients of all ages. If you feel this way, you are not alone. At Dr. Larry G. Smith's office in Alva, comfort and going above and beyond is embedded in our dental practice. We do what we can to eliminate the sounds, smells, discomforts, and financial fears of visiting the dentist. Making your experience surprisingly pleasant and positive is the top of our list. Our staff is focused daily on decreasing anxiety and worry to help your experience be even better. So, when you're looking for a home for your teeth, think of the friendly staff and doctor at Dr. Larry G. Smith's office in Alva. When you want the ultimate music and light show for your wedding, special event, or dance, you need local boys entertainment. Whether it's country, rock, or the oldies, local boys entertainment in Cherokee, Oklahoma will give you an unforgettable event. Local boys offers the new dancing on a cloud with a dry ice fog machine, which is approved by most venues and perfect for your first dance. Local boys entertainment are the only ones in the area that offer this awesome effect. Book local boys today by calling 580-216-3116 or check them out on Facebook at local boys entertainment. Don't settle for just a DJ. Book local boys entertainment out of Cherokee today. You know, life can be funny. Just like on the field, it's not always a team with the best players that gets the win. Sometimes it's the players that make up the best team who come out on top. The same can be said for insurance, and that's why you're going to want to team up with McDermott and Associates when it comes to your insurance needs. McDermott and Associates is a family-owned business with more than 40 years in the insurance industry. They can help you turn your loss into a win. Visit the winning team today at McDermott and Associates, 526 Flynn in Alba, or call them at 580-327- 3500. That's McDermott and Associates. And welcome back to the Regal Oilfield Supply Halftime Show right here on the Pulse 105.7. Just about six and a half minutes until we begin half number two. Again, Lady Rangers trail the Lady Hornets of Emporia State 39 to 33. Let's take a look at some of your team statistics so far here in this one. We'll start with Emporia State. They were 12 of 16 from the field in the first quarter, 6 of 7 from beyond the arc for 85%. Did not go to the foul line in quarter number one, but quarter number two, much different story. Just 4 of 14 from the field, 28%. One of nine from three for 11%. In the game, though, 53%. They are 16 of 30 from the field, 7 of 16 from beyond the arc. 
at 43%. And again, coming into this one, Emporia State had knocked down 20 of 52 from beyond the arc for third, nearly 39%. So they're up on that percentage. And also, as a team, they shoot right around 42. They're up there as well, 12 points higher at 53%. For Northwestern, Lady Rangers were 4 of 11 in the first quarter for 36%. 10 of 10, though, from the foul line, which kept them in it. Second quarter, not much better, just a little bit. Had one more field goal make. 5 of 14, 35%. They did hit three three-pointers as they went 3 of 6 from beyond the arc for 50%. For the game, Northwestern so far at halftime is 9 of 25, 36%. They're 3 of 9 from beyond the arc for 33%. And 12 of 14 from the foul line here in this one. Some other notes. Biggest lead, Emporia State led by 14. Northwestern has not led in this one. Best scoring run has been an 8-0 run by East Central to put them up 14. Lady Rangers have actually had an 8-0 run as well, which got it back with a win 4. There's been no lead changes, no ties in this one. And Emporia State has led for 19 minutes and 42 seconds. Points off turnovers. Emporia State with 14. Northwestern with just 3. Points in the paint. Emporia State leads that one 10 to 6. Second chance points. Both teams with just two apiece. Fast break points. Emporia State with five. Northwestern with one. And bench points. Emporia State leading that category as well. Eight to six. Emporia State led 30 to 18 after quarter number one. And they were outscored, though, by Northwestern 15 to nine in score in quarter number two. And that's how we have it here at halftime. Emporia State leading 39 33. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. We'll have an individual statistical look from the first half. This is Lady Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug. And you're listening to the Regal Oilfield Supply Halftime Show right here on the Pulse 105.7. Just look for the arches. That's right, the Golden Arches at McDonald's in Alva. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, pancakes, Big Macs, fries, or even a refreshing salad, think McDonald's first. Once again this year, McDonald's should be your pregame or postgame stop for all Goldbug and Ranger game days. McDonald's is also the proud home for the Alva Goldbug and Northwestern Ranger coaches shows this season. That's McDonald's in Alva, a proud supporter of all area schools and activities. Are you in need of electrical work done at your home, farm, or business? Northwest Electric in Alba is your local and friendly contractor for all your electrical needs. Daryl, David, Tim, and Scott. Five electricians with over 100 years of combined electrical experience. From new lighting options and troubleshooting to new construction or remodeling of your home or business, Northwest Electric is here to serve you beyond the call of duty. Northwest Electric is a proud supporter of Goldbug and Ranger Athletics. Northwest Electric, where we don't want all the business, just yours. Is your flooring boring and outdated? Then you need to contact Pettit's House of Carpet in Alva, Oklahoma today. Pettit's has it all. Hardwood, porcelain, LVT, ceramic, and rugs in all the best name brands. Let the experts at Pettit's help you find the perfect color, pattern, texture, and style for your home or business. What are you waiting for? Don't just settle for any old flooring. Get the experts. Get Pettit's House of Carpet today. Come see them at 1128 College Boulevard in Alva or schedule your consultation by calling 327-3044. That's 327-3044. Pettit's House of Carpet, where we put quality first. When it comes to operations in the oil field, service and dependability are a must. That's why you need Regal Oil Field Supply as your partner in the field. Regal Oil Field Supply has a 30-year record of delivering parts, supplies, and services when and where you need them. Call Regal today at 580-327-0770 and discover why they have been the trusted name for oil field supplies in northern Oklahoma. That's Regal Oil Field Supply at 580-327-0770. Seven zero seven seven zero. And welcome back to the Regal Oldfield Supply Halftime Show as we're here at halftime. Emporia State on top of Northwestern 39-33. Let's take a look at your individual statistic recap brought to you by McDermott and Associates Insurance of Alba, Oklahoma. In the first half for Emporia State, they were led in scoring by Addie Lackey, who finished with 12 in the first half. The ugly double-figure score for the Hornets. Emily Miller finished with 9, 3 of 4 from beyond the arc. Jessica Wayne finished with 8 points. Tiana Moala with two points, and Tyra Jones and also Morgan Loudon, both with uh, four points apiece. Rebounds, 15 total for Emporia State. They did have 12 personal fouls, nine assists to eight turnovers, four steals, and three blocks, plus or minus of six. For Northwestern, 
Leading scorer was Bailey Brown with nine. Kalia King chipped in with seven. Presley Payasafi finished with five in the first half. Shakiri Ote with four. Jay Jones with two. She was two of four from the free throw line. And Kylie Leverage coming off the bench, hit two big threes with six points, Jacob. She was huge. Yeah, she really kind of got the Rangers rally going. She came in and hit those two threes within about three possessions, and it really kick-started the Rangers offense. It did. And again, Rangers finished three of nine from beyond the arc of the first half. Two of those belonging to Kylie Leverage. Both teams tied again with 15 boards apiece. Rangers with just four fouls in the first uh, Lady Rangers with just four fouls in the first half. They did have five assists to eight turnovers, one steal, and did allow three blocks plus or minus at minus six in the first half. But that is going to do it for a statistical recap. Again, that was brought to you by McDermott and Associates Insurance of Alva, Oklahoma. As half number two is about to begin, Emporia State will be going left to right across your radio dial, northwestern right to left. As it looks like we are set to begin, Emporia State will have the basketball as Emily Miller inbounds it, and half number two is underway. Miller with it, kicks it out. Baseline to Loudon. Back up top is stolen away as the pass. Jakiri Ote comes out of there with it. Ote into the front court for Northwestern. Boy, Miss Bailey Brown inside. Had her there. Oh, oh yeah. Out of Jay Jones. Back to Ote, left wing. Picks up her dribble. Back to Jay Jones. Top of the key. Back to Ote. Left wing for three. That one's off the front of the rim. No good. Had a good look. Couldn't hit it. Now as Jessica Lane goes right at uh, Jay Jones. Misses the in close layup. Rebound pulled down by Clea King. Jones up ahead to Ote. Stops, pops just outside the paint. That one's no good. And the rebound tipped around into the hands of Tyra Jones of Emporia. When the post player wanted to bring this one up. Now to Lackey. Cross court pass to Wayne. Now to Miller. Back to Wayne. Left wing. Leah King in front of her. Now Jones comes over. Back up top to Lackey. To Miller. Free throw line. Now to Wayne. Left wing for three and knocked it down. When Wayne hit another one. She's now three of four from beyond the arc. Looks like Jones chose the wrong player to rotate there, too. I mean, you kind of had to choose between uh, two of the best three-point shooters. 42-33 now. Ote back to Jay Jones. Out of Ote left wing. Ote dribbles to her right. Bounce pass to Jay Jones. Out of uh, Brown. Right baseline. Her shot is no good as she left it short off the glass. Tyra Jones pulls down the board. Not a good start for the Lady Rangers here in the first minute and a half. No, you'd like to see you get a much more high percentage shot there. Jones into the paint. Goes by Brown. Brown goes down, and that's no question going to be a blocking foul against Bailey Brown. Well, you see Tyra Jones just a little bit too tough to handle. I mean, she's six foot two, and she's got incredible handles. I'm not going to lie, Dustin. That was very impressive by Tyra Jones. So Coach Desource wants a timeout. We'll take it with her. 42-33. Lady Hornets lead the Lady Rangers here in quarter number three from Alva. This is Lady Ranger basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. The Rusty Bucket Floral Design offers one-of-a-kind arrangements for weddings, funerals, holidays, and all those special occasions. The Rusty Bucket also offers delivery in Alva and the surrounding communities. They are offering pumpkins and mums in the fall, fresh greenery and poinsettias for Christmas, plus annuals and perennials in the spring. If you prefer indoor plants, they carry a variety of indoor plants for you to choose from. Rusty Bucket strives on giving you the best customer service. Call the Rusty Bucket at 580-327-5444 or stop by their location on the corner of 5th and Barnes in downtown Elk. Out of the timeout, Lady Rangers will have the basketball. They trail this one 42 to 33 as you hear the Ranger band. I tell you one thing, Jacob, it makes this uh, atmosphere a lot better when the band is able to be here. Great atmosphere, too, by the band as well. I mean, you almost got to say there's not that many open, seat, open seats here in the pit tonight. No, there's really not. I mean, student body has done a pretty good job of showing up, you know, again, Tuesday against Langston and then here tonight against Emporia State. And I can tell you, once uh, Great American Conference play kicks in, this place will especially be rocking uh, when those Bulldogs from Southwestern come to town. I'm looking forward to that one. Oh, always the best game of the year for everybody. Tyra Jones to the foul line out of the timeout. First free throw from Jones is up and good. In fact, that's Jones' first trip here this evening. That's their first trip. That's their first trip for the entire team. That's impressive. They had not shot a foul shot until the third quarter. Jones, that one's too strong, no good. Rebound pulled down by Miller, and she's bumped and fouled by Brown, and I think Brown just picked up her fourth. 
It is. That's second team foul, fourth personal against Bailey Brown, and that is going to hurt. I mean, she picked up two quick ones right there in like 10 seconds. You can't do that if you're Bailey Brown. So 43-33 after she hit one of two. Lackey to inbound up underneath the basket. Gets it into Jones. Jones goes right around Payla Sappy. Got away with the hook. Missed the in close shot. Offensive rebound, though, for Emporia. Miller triggers the three. That one's no good. And it comes all the way out to Lackey. Two extra shots here in this possession. Wayne, Tyra Jones, baseline. And down goes Payla Sappy. And she's bumped and fouled is Tyra Jones, and that's another foul against Lady Rangers in this possession. Hey, Sappy may have been looking for the charge there, but you got to almost just stay in front of her, and if she runs you over, then it's a charge. Yeah. That's now her first personal. Third team foul already, and we've played just a minute 51. Inbounds pass goes to Loudon. She hits the left baseline jumper, and all of a sudden, Emporia State on top, 45-33. Jones into the front court, nearly lost that one as Kalia King now has it into the paint, stops, goes over the top of Jones, misses the in-close shot. Jones pulls down the board. Jones wants to bring it up. Jones picks up her dribble, now into the hands of Loud, and she triggers the three. That one's off the front of the rim. Got her own offensive rebound, though. That's good hustle. Now goes back up with it and scores off the glass. Great what job a- by Loudon to follow her shot. I mean, if you're going to, ha- the longer shot you shoot, the longer the rebound's going to be. The Lady Rangers got to know that. Poria State match her largest lead. Mackenzie Billy now with it. Didn't take the three. As now Ote has it, right wing for Northwestern. Inside to Jones, kicks it out clean. Clea King, right wing three. That one's too strong, no good as it skips off the rim. Wayne pulls down the board, up ahead to Lackey. Lackey now into the paint. Her jumper is too strong off the back iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Jay Jones. Jones up ahead to King. King tries the runner. That one rattles out, no good. And Boy, there's a lid on the basket right now for the Lady Rangers. Miller back to Lackey. And that was a good look from King with that runner. She's had some good looks this quarter, but she just hasn't been able to convert yet. Loud and bounce pass to Jones, and she scores from the baseline. Oh, my. That's 10 straight to start the second half for Emporia State. They lead now by 16. Tyra Jones starting to take this game over right here. You can see that with her athleticism, she is really tearing up the Rangers. Ote, right elbow jumper. That one is no good. Jones pulls down the board. My goodness. Second half has been rough. As that's 0 for 6 of the Lady Rangers this half. Jones to Lackey. Now to Miller, left wing. Miller, now to Loudon. Out to Wayne, right wing. Dribbles now, baseline. Tries to score with the left hand. It's no good, but Jones pulls down the offensive rebound. Jones will go right back up with the left hand. Misses the shot, but she's bumped and fouled on the way up. And Tyra Jones has taken over this game here in the second half. I feel like she's almost gotten an offensive rebound almost every possession that they have been down there. So Jones will go to the free throw line. She's three of four there this evening. I don't think that's right. (laughs) Our stats say four, but I feel like she's got about 15 rebounds. I'm going to say it's probably closer to six, maybe seven. As Jones' first free throw, that one spun out no good. As we see Deja Beecham check in, also Kylie Leverich, and also Bailey Farrell. We want to thank all of our listeners out there listening in Radio Land, whether you're on the Pulse 105.7 or via AlvaRadio.com. Our good buddy Ryan Shoemaker's out there listening, apparently. I mean, gone but not forgotten, Dustin. That's right. As Jones misses, or excuse me, makes the second free throw. It's now 50 to 33, as Emporia State has their largest lead at 17. The Lady Rangers really got to focus on defense. Got to get some stops on offense. They still have got to emphasize getting in the middle of the paint. Beecham now into the front court, has it right wing, out to Farrell. Dribbles to her left, back to Beecham, now to Paya Sappy, right elbow, goes all the way into the paint, scores with the left hand, but we get a whistle and a foul before the drive from Paya Sappy. Yeah, looks like it was on the floor, but once again, the Rangers, whenever they get inside that paint, it opens up for everybody else. Leverage to inbound. Out to Farrell, top of the key. Out of Leverich, right wing. Mackenzie Billy, right corner. Back up top, Farrell. Farrell dribbles to her left, nearly loses control. Now has it into Leverich, into the paint. Pass is knocked away and stolen. Miller comes out of there with it for Emporia State. Miller wants to run into the front court. We'll pull it back out now. Now into the hands of Callie Martin. And she triggers the left corner three and buries it. It's 50-33, Emporia State. They're now 9 of 18 from beyond the arc. When all of a sudden, 
Lady Rangers again have not scored this half. It's a 14-0 run to start the half number two and then a steal. Miller comes out of there with it on the tip pass. Miller drives right up against Farrell, tries to score with the left hand, left it short, but she's fouled on the way up. Great job by Farrell to get back on that, though. She didn't give up. 5-14 to play in quarter number three. It has been all Hornets in half number two. Miller to the free throw line. Free throw is up, and that one is good. Miller on the season. Now 5 of 7 for 70%. Second free throw, Miller left that one short. That one's no good. McKenzie Billy with the board. Lady Range has got to stop the bleeding here. you got to have a point. I mean, yeah, you've, got to, you've, got to, you've got to find a way to either get on the free throw line or get an easy basket. Pharrell has it, right wing, bounce pass to right baseline to Payasapi. Now back out leverage. They swing at McKenzie Billy, left wing three. That one's short, no good. Rebound tipped out into the hands of Pharrell. Extra possession for the Lady Rangers. Now to leverage. Leverage dribbles to her left into the paint, bounce pass into Payasapi, who missed the in close layup. Got her own offensive rebound, and the stick back is good. You see a little bit of more ball movement there from the Rangers, and it got them two open shots right there. That was great pass by leverage. Again, get in the middle of the zone. Good things happen from there. Wayne has it right wing. Not allowed. Loudon cross court pass to Miller. Left wing triggers a three. That one's too strong. No good. Pulling down the rebound was McKenzie Billy. Leverage will bring it up for the Lady Rangers. On the far side to Beecham right wing. Beecham. Payasapi right corner. Cross court pass to Leverage. That's stolen away. What we said, no cross court pass. No, bad pass right there by Payasapi. Loudon goes all the way in and runs over Leverage. And we get a whistle on an offensive foul. And we'll go back the other way on the turnover. Great job to get back in transition defense there by uh, Kylie Leverage. That was. Leverage did a good job of standing her ground. And bearing, bearing, <laughs> barreling right over her was loud. If I could get it out. 54-35. Lady Hornets lead the Lady Rangers. And it's immediate timeout. 4.07 to go here in the third quarter. This is Lady Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. State Farm, Kathy here. Hey, it's Mike. My team just pulled off the biggest upset ever. Nice, Mike. And some fans are getting crazy. They even flipped over a car. Wow. Turns out it's my car, though. Oh. But I don't want to be upset right now. I want to know State Farm's going to take care of this, right? We got you covered, Mike. Yes! Woo! Go with the one that's here to help life go right. Stay Farm. Call State Farm agent Stephanie Eaton at 327-3600 today. Alva State Bank wants to help you meet your personal and business financial needs. We are committed to our communities and are motivated to build strong and lasting relationships with our customers. Stop by any of our convenient locations in Alva, Enid, Burlington, Freedom, or Kiowa to speak to our friendly staff about how we can help you today to prepare for your tomorrow. Alva State Bank, family owned and operated, member FDIC. Out of the timeout, it's 54-35. Lady Rangers trailing the Lady Hornets of Emporia State. Again, a out-of-conference matchup with an MIAA opponent tonight. In the third of the season as Leverage beats the press. Out to McKenzie Billy left wing. Now here comes the trap. Now with the hands of Beecham left corner. She has it left baseline. Dribbles out near the left wing. Back to Payasapi left corner. Now Beecham left wing. Beecham drives in, kicks it back out. Payasapi. 13 seconds to shoot. Farrell has it to leverage right wing. Bounce pass to Billy. Drives right baseline. Cross court pass to Beecham. Beecham dribbles all the way in. Loses control of it, and that's a turnover. Jones comes out of there with it for Emporia State. Jones working right up over leverage. Misses the in close shot with the left hand. Loud and pulls down the board, and her putback is good. Lady Rangers got to get back on transition defense. It's one of the keys of the game, Dustin. Seventh offensive rebound from Emporia State. And second chance points now with seven. Leverage has it into the front court to McKenzie Billy right corner. Billy dribbles in. Bounce pass out to Beecham. Back to Billy. Boy, had a thought about the three. Now to Leverage left wing. Evan, seven seconds, six seconds to Farrell. Left corner for three. That one is out. No good as that one just rimmed out. And the rebound's tipped out of bounds off of Emporia State. 
not too many good looks right now happening for Northwestern. No, the ball movement is not there right now, but you really think that the Lady Rangers, if they would just seriously get inside the middle of this zone, they can really break it down. Well, and the passes have got to be a little bit quicker than they have been because Emporia State moves pretty well in that zone. They've just got to be got to do a little bit quicker with the ball. I agree with you, Dustin. You cannot pass it. You can pass it. Right. As uh, Leverage will inbound up underneath the basket. Inbounds pass to Paya Sappy, has it right wing. Now right corner, dribbles baseline, spins into the paint, goes up with the left-handed shot, and around the rim and good. Great left hand move there by Paya Sappy. Now with nine points. Freshman playing very well tonight. Lady Rangers within 19. Lackey fires the three. It's now 22. She buries another one. Big surprise from there. Folks, she's now three of eight. 22-point lead. Kinsey Lamer into the front court, goes all the way in. Jones that one away. Loudon comes out of there with it. Up ahead to Lackey. Lackey behind the back dribble to Miller. Left wing, another three. That one's no good. Leverage pulls down the board for Northwestern. Leverage wants to run. Up ahead to Lamer. Has it. Right wing pulls the three. That one rattles out. No good. Offensive rebound to Coulter. Lamer with it again. Kicks it out. Leverage. To Billy. Now has it left wing. Is happy. Left corner. Good. Good look. Good look. Miller to Lackey left wing. Looking inside, they find Jones. She's wrapped up with Coulter, and we get a whistle and a foul. Well, nothing falling tonight. No, nothing falling for the Lady Rangers right now. Again, they're just 11 of 38 from the field for 28%. Well, and here's one thing, too. What kept them in the game in the first half was getting to the foul line. Not happening here in half number two. No. The one player we haven't seen much here in the second half has been Jay Jones. She's been out for a while. Jones to the foul line. Knocks down that one. She's three of five. As Kalia King will check in for Northwestern. Checking in for Emporia State, Jessica Wayne. It's five fouls against the Rangers now, team wise. The second that one's no good. King pulls down the board. It's a 23-point game. The Lamer. The Leverage top of the key. Out of Lamer right wing. Back up top, Leverage. Coulter. Now Paya Sappy. Cross-court pass to Leverage. Now to Lamer. Right wing. Thought about the three, didn't take it. Now to Beecham. Up underneath. Reverse layup from Kalia King is good. As she scores right over Tyra Jones. Now, I mean, very impressive by Kalia King because you know Tyra Jones is extremely long and she does want to block your shot. 60-39. Lackey. Out of Wayne. Left wing. Another three. And they hit another one. My goodness. Sephoria State 11 of 22. They're 50% from beyond the arc. Not much you can do about it. It's tough to beat a team if you can't get out on the threes. That's right. Lamer has it right wing. It's 63-39. Leverage to Coulter. Now to pay a sappy left baseline. Goes right around Jones. Kicks it out to Lamer. Lamer dribbles in. Has it poked away. We get a whistle and a foul. I believe this will be a reach-in foul against Emporia State. It's going to be on Addie Lackey. Both third personal. Again, just the third team foul. We're under a minute to go. It's 63-39, Emporia State. Leverage has it. Picks up her dribble. Left wing bounces inside. Paya Sappy. Paya Sappy did not get away with that one as we get a travel working against Tyra Jones. It kind of looked like Tyra Jones went to that old school move and she pulled the chair from her. It kind of, she was expecting contact and she didn't get it. <laughs> she did. I think it's a good call. 63-39, Emporia State. Loudon out to Wayne. Another three coming and they hit another one. Big surprise. Again, as they knock down another one, 12 to 23. Good Lord. And not only that, 14 assists. Paya Sappy, jumper just outside the paint. That one is good as she knocks it down. The freshman has double figures with 11. Leading all scores for the Rangers. 66-41, though. Well, you see it from the point of state when they shoot the three. My goodness. I mean, if they're getting high percentage shots. Wayne, baseline to Bart, right corner, and we get a whistle and a foul before the three-pointer. And it happens to come with 1.6 seconds to go. You know, one of the more impressive stats for Emporia State is that they're 25 of 46 from the field, but 15 assists on those shots. 
Free throw is up and good. And for Jessica Wayne, again, it's her first trip to the foul line tonight. Second free throw is good. It's 68-41, largest lead. Inbound pass goes to Leverage. Three-quarter court shot, and that one is no good as it's off the glass. And that is how quarter number three is in the books. 68-41. Emporia State leads Northwestern. Fourth quarter action coming up after this. This is Lady Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. With all the sights to see in or around Alva, you don't want to miss a thing. Let Alva Vision Clinic, a member of Vision Source, bring life into focus for you. At Alva Vision Clinic, your family's vision health is our business, and they always keep it personal from your initial exam to the selection of that perfect pair of glasses or contacts. They have been a part of the Alva community since 1931, so make your next appointment with the staff that cares. Visit Alva Vision Clinic at 504 College Avenue in downtown Alva today. At Bank Central, our roots run deep with a heritage that began over 100 years ago in Alva, Oklahoma. Today, our legacy continues to grow, not only in Alva, but in the other communities we serve. Woodward and Enid, Oklahoma, plus Harper and Anthony, Kansas. With our outstanding personnel, the latest in banking technology, and a wide variety of services, Bank Central has the banking expertise to help you with all your financial needs. We're Bank Central, and we're centered on you. Member FDIC. And welcome back to Lady Ranger Basketball, brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. And again, we talked about it, Jacob, in the opening. You cannot have the bad quarter. It's got to be a full 40 minutes. No, not against a team like this. Emporia State, I mean, they are showing it. They are one of the top teams in this conference in the MIAA, and you cannot take a quarter off against teams like this. No, you can't. And again, that was uh, Lady Rangers route score 29-8 to in quarter number three. As we begin the fourth quarter, Northwestern will have it. Inbounds pass from Bailey Brown into the hands of Ote here in the near side. Now back up top, Jay Jones to Kalia King, right wing. Bounce pass to Jones. Jones to Ote. Inside, Payasapi goes right up over Tyra Jones. Not able to score. She left it short. Rebounds saved by Tyra Jones. The defensive possession from Tyra Jones again. As now Lackey has it. Top of the key to Loudon. Free throw line jumper. She'll take it. And that one's no good. Skips off the rim. Rebound pulled down by Jacari Ote. Ote will bring it up for Northwestern. Again, moving right to left across your radio dial. Ote to Jade Jones. Jones to King. Bailey Brown left elbow to Ote. Now to Jay Jones. Right corner. Right baseline jumper. Paya Sappy. That one's no good. Offensive rebound by King. Back out Ote and top of the key three. And we get a whistle. And I believe they reset the shot clock again. And it did not hit the rim though. Yeah, I'm not going to. We have some rookies over there at the <laughs> at the desk. I mean, it is. I mean, that, I think that's his second game. We'll give him a break. We But we got to be sharp for GAC play. After this uh, play, I'll tell you what we used to do. Who and I works in sports information. Inbounds pass goes to Brown. She misses the in-close shot. It's left short. Rebound pulled down by Jessica Wayne. We get a whistle and a tie-up, and it'll go back over to Emporia State. We used to keep track of the screw-ups at the scores table when uh, Hindu and I did it. That's what we keep track of every game. That was our one statistic. Well, you almost you might want to. You might have to start employing some conditioning punishment. You know, right? Lackey with it to Miller, wide open. Why not take the three? And as she hits another one, Miller now four of six from beyond the arc. And the thing is, Miller wasn't looking to shoot that shot. She was looking to pass the ball. Yeah, she wanted to give that one up. Is it 71-41? A 30-point lead now for Emporia State. Bounce pass to King. Free throw line now into the paint. Goes right up over Jones. The shot's blocked. Tipped into the hands of Bailey Brown. She goes back up with it. That one's too strong. No good. Rebound pulled down by Miller. I mean, that was about that was two shots affected there by Tyra Jones. My goodness. Miller up ahead to Lackey. Lackey spins to Wayne right wing. Back to Lackey. Now to Wayne right wing. To Jones. Into the paint. Goes right up and tries to score over Brown. We get a whistle and a foul. And if this is Bailey Brown, this will be her fifth. I think it was on Jade Jones. I think you're right. As we're going to see a new fresh five come in for the Lady Rangers. Leverage, Coulter, McKenzie, Billy. Also checking in for the Lady Rangers, Sammy Williams. Her first appearance. Williams, the uh, redshirt freshman from Idaho. 
Bailey Farrell also in. Inbounds pass to Miller, left wing, another three, and that one skips off the rim. Wayne pulled down the board and saves it into Loudon. A guy about Miller again, left wing, another three. That one she hits. My goodness. You can't give a shooter like that two opportunities at a basket. 14 of 25 for nearly right at over 55% from beyond the arc. My goodness. And we get a whistle and a foul on the other end for Emporia State as Williams was bumped, I believe, by Tyra Jones. That's a pretty impressive uh, shooting statistic right there for Emporia State. Inbounds pass to Williams. Williams tries to score with Tyra Jones. That one's no good. 74-41, Emporia State. Miller with it. Dumps it baseline Loudon. Out to Wayne right wing. Back up top into the hands of Martin. Now to Wayne. Back to Martin. Martin looking inside, dishes it to Wayne, right wing, a three. That one's no good. McKenzie Billick pulls down the board, and Emporia State is just going to fire up three. I mean, they're getting open shots. Their passes are crisp, and they're going to get their, themselves open. Now a turnover here as Miller comes out of there with it for Emporia State. Dishes back to Wayne on the trailer. Left the layup short. Got her own board. Now to Martin. Martin has it right wing, cross-court pass to Miller. Now good ball movement to Jones. Goes right by Williams. All the way. Scores. Count the basket and she's fouled. Are you kidding me? What a move from Tyra Jones. Impressive finish from Tyra Jones, folks. My goodness. As Coulter picks up her third. Chance to complete the three-point play. And she got it. Tyra Jones in the second half has been their player. She has been all over the court for them. This is pretty impressive. Leverage now into the hands of Coulter. It's now 77 41. Correll to Williams. Pump fake reverses. Now kicks it out to Coulter. Williams had a layup and she passed it up. Williams goes right up over Jones. The shot's blocked. Second effort is good from Sandy Williams. Go up for the layup. You're wide open right there. 77-43. Martin. Out of Wayne to Loudon. Back up top, Martin. Martin will fire a three, and it's good. Why not? Everything else has been good. 15 of 28 now. It's Emporia State. My goodness. Very impressive shooting that for Emporia State Hornets. 80 to 43. Turnover as Wayne comes out of there with it on the steal. Goes all the way in for the layup and she scores. Coach Diesel Orts wants a timeout. We'll take it with her. 82 43 for your state lead. You're listening to Lady Rings of Basketball brought to you by Other Club. Hi, this is Adam Jordan with Beatles Miss Man. Our Beatles can independently make decisions about your future or the future of your loved ones can sometimes be difficult. But we are here to make the process as pleasant as possible. Life does not slow down when you come home to Beatles. For many residents, it's an all-new beginning full of activities and fun. We strive to provide compassionate and comprehensive health care in a Christian environment. For more information or to schedule a visit, give us a call at 580-327-1274 or stop by 916. Noble Street and out. Community Bank has been serving Alva, Oklahoma and the surrounding areas since 1984. Community Bank was founded by local community members who wanted to ensure the banking needs of the community were being met. It has been our goal since inception to provide customer-focused services and community development. Our customers are our friends, neighbors, and never just a number. We believe in investing in our community, and we pride ourselves in being our hometown bank. Community Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. 6.05 to play in the fourth quarter as Emporia State all over Northwestern in this one, 82 to 43. Again, Emporia State has been dominant from beyond the arc here this evening. Farrell with it into the front court. Top of the key, McKenzie Billy. Back to Bailey Farrell. Pump face now drives right baseline. She's cut off. Cross court pass to Beecham left corner. Beecham drives in. Back up top, Leverich. Now to Beecham left wing. She'll fire a three. And that one's too strong. No good. Rebound pulled down by Sammy Williams. And we get a whistle on a foul. Sammy Williams in her first action as a Ranger. I mean, she's not coming in scared. She's coming in playing really hard for the Rangers. 
So that whistle on the foul was on the floor. They whistle that one against Emily Miller. Now here's a jumper from Leverage from the right baseline. She got it again, and that one's for three. It's now 82-46. Leverage's third three-point make of the evening. Martin has it to Farrell right Guarded by Farrell, now dribbles back to her left, now reverses. Still dribbling it out near Farrell. Bounce pass into the hands of Loudon. Loudon goes all the way into the paint. We get a whistle and a foul. I'm not sure I saw that one. I must have missed that one. They'll whistle that against, uh, against Sammy Williams. Her first personal, third team foul. Inbounds pass to Miller. Another three. That one's no good. Pulling down the board that time was Moala. Offensive rebound for Emporia State. Martin with it. Right wing. Guarded by Leverich. Now baseline pass to Loudon. Miller again. Left wing for three. And she hit another one. <laughs> oh, this is unreal. They just keep hitting them, folks. 85-46. Sammy Williams, right baseline. Her pass is stolen away. Loudon comes out of there with it for Emporia State. Quickly up ahead to Miller. Miller drives all the way in. Runs over Bailey Farrell. We get a whistle on an offensive foul. We'll go back the other way. Once again, Kylie Leverage getting back oh, in transition sorry. defense. Yeah, my apologies. Leverage takes the charge. So far this evening, 16 of 30 is Emporia State. In fact, Miller is the one who's 6 of 10 uh, this evening. Again, she's got 19, Lackey with 15, and Jessica Wayne leading all scores with 21. Yeah, and I believe Jessica Wayne hasn't even played this quarter. Jessica Wayne had a very impactful game for the Hornets. 4.20 to go here in the fourth. It's 85-46, a 39-point lead. Boy, it's amazing to see that of what this game looked like at halftime. It was 39-33, folks. Now for Northwestern, Kinsey Mize drives baseline. Her shot's no good. Stick back for Bailey. Farrell is no good, but she's fouled on the way up. Good hustle from Farrell getting that offensive board with a second opportunity. Personal foul on Kramer. They whistle that against Brittany Kramer, her first personal. The fourth team foul. As that free throw is up and good for Bailey Farrell, and she's in the books. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's the first time they've gotten to the free throw line this half. I think you're right. No, because, they, yeah, they were 12 of 14 at halftime as Sammy Williams tries to run down that board. It's actually saved, though, by Daly Handy, and Poya State will have it. Martin with it to Handy, top of the key. Now left wing into the hands, I believe, of Carson Schultz. Handy dishes back to Schultz. Schultz loses control of it as she try turned that one over. It's stolen away by Bailey Farrell of Northwestern. Farrell into the front court. Now to the hands of Rebecca Wasson. Now the leverage back to Wasson. Top of the key to leverage left wing. Bounce pass to Farrell left corner. Farrell has it. Dribbles to her right. Picks up her dribble now to leverage. 13 seconds to Mize. Right elbow. Kicks it out. Wasson right wing three. That one's no good. Tipped out into the hands of Wasson. Refresh the shot clock. Inbounds pass goes to from Sammy Williams into the paint from Leverage. She misses the in-close shot. Rebound pulled down by Emporia State. Kramer has it as she goes baseline. Scores off the glass. Counted and she's fouled. Great take by Kramer. I mean, she was getting hounded by two Rangers right there. Again, Jessica Wayne leading all scores with 21. Her career high is actually 23. So two points away from that. In fact, the field goal's made. Uh, she's actually tied that number, seven. Boy, one thing that Jessica Wayne has done, though, she does have a new career high and three-point field goals made. She's five of seven this evening. She also has a double-double with ten rebounds. Yes, she does. Most rebounds of anybody for Emporia State. There's the jumper from Mize. That one rattles out no good. It's 88-47, 2.51 to go here in the fourth. Brittany Kramer has it. 
now into the hands of Schultz. Back up top to Martin, in between the two rings, guarded by Lamer. It's a screen for Mawale, and we get a whistle and a reach-in foul against Northwestern. Miller's season, or excuse me, Miller's career high is 25. Her three-point make, she has tied a new career high with six. She made six a year ago against Southwestern. But I can't imagine we're going to see Miller the rest of the way, though, this, this yeah, uh, you're, last 2.37. You're probably not going to see many of the starters here in the last two, two minutes of this game. I think you may see Callie Martin is probably about it. As it looks like Coach Toby Wynn has went to his bench as the free throw from Martin is up and good. Caitlin Schieber will check in now. Sammy Williams will exit for Northwestern. 89-47, a 42-point ball game here in the fourth. Again, it was 39-33, 50-14. That's what the Lady Rangers have been outscored here in this half number two. Schieber, bounce pass. Into the hands of Leverage. Leverage down to Lamer, right wing, back to Leverage. Bounce pass to Mize. Mize goes all the way to the paint, tries to score. Shots blocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Northwestern. It's now seven blocks as a team for the Hornets. Seven block shots, but, I mean, the, the amount of shots they affect and they change, just like that. Yeah, absolutely. Again, Mize misses the in-close shot that time. That was Tatum Graves who really changed that one as Handy has it. Drives baseline, tries to score. Shots blocked from behind by Rebecca Wasson, and uh, it'll stay with Emporia State. Official's not really wanting to blow the whistle too much, obviously, in the last two minutes. No, I believe Wasson may have gotten away with one right there. She did, too. It's Williams inbounds. Or, excuse me, back into the game. Inbounds pass goes to Handy. Her shot is left short. We get a whistle and a late blocking call. And Handy will go to the free throw line. So, Daly Handy to the foul line. On the season, 5 of 6. Make it 6 of 7 as she hit the first. As a team, they're now 10 of 15. Second free throw, that one's good. It's now 91-47. Well, and I'll tell you, folks, they're closing in on the 100. I don't think they'll get to it, but this is the team that actually does score over 100 points on quite a few occasions. They have done it since a year ago, January 2017. Now passes to Lamar. Who likes them? Pulls down the board. 128 to go here in the fourth. Leverage bounce pass to Watson. It's stolen away by Mark. Andy quickly up ahead to Kramer. Kramer drives in, dishes off for the layup as Schultz knocks it down. It's 93-47. 108 to go here in the fourth. Into the hands of Schieber. Leverage tries to look inside, gets it to Williams. Right baseline. Her pass goes through the hands of Kinsey Lamer, and that's a turnover against the Lady Rangers. That is now 18 turnovers here on the evening to go along with just seven assists, Jacob. I mean, not a good assist to turnover ratio, and obviously those turnovers are really hurting them. They are the Hornets are capitalizing off of all of these turnovers and going and scoring after them. Handy with it. Now to the hands of Schultz left wing. This is back to Handy. Kicks it out, Martin. Left corner, another three. That one spun out no good. Looked good when she shot it, though. Leverage will bring it up for the Rangers. Now up ahead to Lamer, right wing. Double team comes back out here to Leverage on the far side. Now dribbles to the middle of the floor. Cross-court pass into the hands of Schieber. She drives baseline. She's cut off to Wasson. Now they swing it around Lamer. Right baseline goes Williams. Tries to score. Her shot is blocked out of bounds. That's eight blocks on the evening now. As Tatum Graves come up with a block. Well, the size is impressive for Emporia State, even off their bench. Sheeper has it right wing. She looks at a three, and that one's short, no good. Rebound pulled down by Emporia State. That's Karen Schultz. Two seconds, one second. 
And that is going to do it. As the Lady Rangers are going to fall in their home opener in the 2018-19 season. They lose tonight to the Emporia State Lady Hornets, 93-47, to and move to 1-2 and two on the 2018-19 season. Emporia State improves to 3-0 and oh in the 2018-19 season. 93-47 is your file, Emporia State over Northwestern. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. Our postgame wrap-up show begins after this. This is Lady Ranger Basketball, brought to you by Holden Drug on the Pulse 105.7. November is a great time to add a little nitrogen to your wheat crop as well as control some of the weeds and grasses in your field, such as joint grass and sheep. Here at the Alva Farmers Co-op, they work to provide winter services to you in a timely manner. Please give Matt a call at 580-216-1413, Rick at 580-327-7383, or Merle at 580-430-6005, or come by their main office in Alva on the corner of 4th and Barnes so they can help you profit more your next harvest. The Alva Farmers Co-op would like to wish everyone a blessed holiday Here's to the ones who want the best for their family. Something genuine, something meaningful. Those who want to go on vacation, the ones who hope to retire one day, those who want true financial freedom. At ENJ Financial, they can help you achieve that. They focus on building long-lasting relationships that will educate and inspire their clients to true wealth. Let ENJ Financial show you the difference because at ENJ Financial, they're investing in your future. Visit them at one of their three locations in Woodward, Stillwater, and Rocky. When you don't. And welcome back to our post-game wrap-up show here on the Pulse 105.7. Now we're going to turn things over to Jacob Bogus as he's got a chance to sit down with uh, head coach Tasha Dieselhorst. Head coach Dieselhorst. Tough game for the Lady Rangers here. I mean, you've got a team that comes in and they shoot over 50% from three. <laughs> Just get, give me your initial thoughts about this game. You know, the first half, we were we were going to give up some threes trying to keep it out of the paint, which I thought we did a good job of. Um, they still made quite a few, but I think the stats at the point shot 25% from the field, and when you're playing a, a team like Emporia, you can't you can't shoot uh, 25%. So I thought the second half, we shot some quick shots early, turned it into transition for them, and then we could never get out of the hole to start those first few minutes in the third quarter. We agree. Um, you could tell that your, almost your game plan was to get that ball inside the middle of the court, and it was very effective whenever you guys could. As you could see, Kalia King was kind of facilitating the game, getting the ball to your three-point shooters, and then they were driving off that. Just... Was that just your initial game plan whenever you guys came out? Yeah, I thought the first half we did a great job of moving the ball. Uh, when we didn't get something early, we, did, we used almost the whole offense. If we have the ball in four, you can't score. That was kind of our uh, game plan. But I thought we moved it inside and out really well the first half. And then second half was a different story. We didn't get those same touches. We were taking quick shots, which, again, when you're going against a good team, that turns into quick points for them on the other end. One of the more impressive performances tonight, um, Tyra Jones for Emporia, I mean, all over the place. Mm -hmm. I mean, she necessarily didn't score the most points, but, I mean, she had rebounds, she had tips, she had blocks, she was affecting shots. Just another another uh, impressive performance. Emily Miller, 6 of 10 from 3. Addie Lackey, 6 of 12 from 3. Yeah. I mean, it's tough to beat teams whenever they have individual performances like that from oh, other yeah. players. They shot it really well, and that's what they do. I mean, that, that wasn't uh, uh, just a great game. They're consistently well from the three-point line, and then when you've got somebody like Tyra inside, you know, that's that's why they're such a good team. But, um, like I said, I thought, I thought we played well for one half. We just got to learn how to play two halves together. Awesome. Thank you, Coach Diesel Horse. Thank you. Now we're going to take a timeout. We'll come back. We'll have more of your post-game wrap-up show after this break. This is Lady Ranger Basketball brought to you by Holder Drug on the Pulse 105.7. Looking to keep that beautiful summer tan through the fall and winter? Then you need to plan your visits to Exotic Heat Wave and take advantage of our 24-hour tanning. No matter your schedule, Exotic Heat Wave can give you access to Alva's best tanning facilities. In fact, all NWOSU students who present their student ID receive discounts on monthly tanning packages. Custom color spray tans are also available by appointment. Call Exotic Heat Wave today at 580-327-4328 or stop by the salon at 1016 Noble in Alva. Keep that summer glow all season long with Exotic Heat Wave. 
When you don't feel well, you want a doctor you know and trust. Dr. Linda McMurphy and Dr. Tim Newton at Great Salt Plains Health Center are pleased to meet the primary care needs for the communities where they were raised. Call 580-596-2800 as early as 7 a.m. Monday through Friday or late until 7 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday. Medicaid, Medicare, private insurance, or no insurance at all. Call 596-2800 to schedule an appointment with Dr. Linda McMurphy or Dr. Tim Newton and find out why so many others choose Great Salt Plains Health Center, Cherokee, Medford, Enid, and... And welcome back to our post-game wrap-up show. Dustin Goodno alongside Jacob Bogus, Montana McCullough, your in-studio producer, your Northwestern Ranger crew here this evening. Uh, Jacob, let's talk about this one. You had a chance to sit down or uh, talk to uh, Coach with Coach Tasha Dieselhorst. Uh, obviously, her thoughts team struggled in the second half. As you look at the get-out, scored 54-14. Probably had to love it at halftime. Everything seemed to be going Lady Ranger way. But uh, El Emporia State heated up from beyond the arc again. And where there was a lid for the basket uh, on the second half for the Lady Rangers. Yeah, I mean, the Lady Rangers, I mean, it's going to be tough. It's tough to beat a team that's going 16 of 31 from three. I mean, you're spreading the floor out like that. And then you've got Tyra Jones out there. And you've got Tiana Moala inside the paint. I mean very well-rounded team for the Emporia State Hornets. I know. They're very impressive. Again tonight, they shoot 54% from the field, 52% from uh, three. Oh, actually, that's not correct. I do not have final numbers. In fact, let me see this real quick. I think that was dirty.